We be on fire, we be lit lit, lit. It's a unique hustle Check, check, check it, it's a unique hustle It's your boy ECO and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica, what's going on? No, 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 my well gone I want y'all to go ahead and stop what you're doing Like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms Share our content We are on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Threads, you name it TikTok, you name it, we're on it Just search Boss Dog Podcast 101 on all those platforms And you will find us But definitely if you want to see our full length interviews Go to our YouTube membership And go ahead and subscribe Go ahead and, you know, sign up for our membership package Because you get all exclusive content that way Okay? Thank you in advance. Man, hey, man, listen, man, check it, man. Hey, we got a guy in here today, y'all. Really, really don't need no introduction. He really don't be just on a whole bunch of interviews, so I was blessed to get him in here today, man. This brother family, mm -hmm. I mean, it run deep, to be honest with you. When I was, I was listening to him, when he didn't realize I was listening to him, uh, I, w I was watching him, watching his moves. I had to because it was so close to home, man. Mm. Check it, man. j Dog's in the building, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, man, you made me feel real comfortable. I don't do a lot of these. Man, listen, man, listen. I'm gonna be real with you, man. I do this from the heart. That's what make it different, bro. To be honest with you, man, I, it's so much stuff we gonna get into. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, man, you a legend for me in Texas, bro, and other pl the South. Period. See, because I don't gauge it the same, and I'm not going to go there early, but I don't gauge it the same as others because a lot of times the information being pushed down on us, and we ain't pushing the information mm -hmm. up. We got to push up harder. You know what I'm saying? To make sure people understand the legacies down here when they talk about you can run through a CD, of, uh, you can run through a whole album and not skip. We don't get counted in that stuff, bro. I don't know why. You, and, oh, I count us, but I'm just saying yeah. they, they be hating a lot right, of times, right, bro. Right. And I know that. So I be getting really upset, and that's why, that was one of the main things my brother said, you gonna do something about it? I said, yeah, nigga, I got the podcast now, nigga, it's up. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, that's what that's what my OG, rest in peace, Pimp C, you so I always try to push. Yeah, he, yeah. He seen that, you know? I, oh, man, that's a, we gonna talk about that, too, because I'm a big, that's what I, I, I do that. That's that's my guy. Uh, me, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead, baby, I'll let so, you start. Yeah, because I like to go into the background. I like to get to know you as a person and not really just so much as an artist. Um, I know you were born and raised in East Texas. No, Egypt. no, he was born in Houston. Born. Oh, sorry, Houston. Then how? Okay. His grandma and his people down. Yeah. His mama from Houston okay. down there. Yeah, my sister, my brother, all of them was born in Jefferson. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I was born in Houston. So mm -hmm. how are you born up there? She met, met the old <laughs> man. Yeah, she he, met. He was from Houston. He from Houston. So okay. They met, however they met, they, they went. So how many of y'all she had? Three. Three. So you were the oldest or what? The baby. The baby. Spoiled. Yeah. Well, I can't <laughs> say spoiled. <laughs> I spoiled myself. Spoiled yourself. So you were raised in the household with your mom and dad? Nah. Nah, just my mom. Just your mom? But was your dad active in your life? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> At all? Nah, nah. But did I say this? He probably have some good reasons. For whatever, you know, so, you know, uh, me and him, you know, we cool, cool real cool now, nah, but now. Nah, so you didn't never ask him, what's shit, up? He wasn't even that long enough to ask that. Mm. Yeah, mm. Shit, I ain't seen him long enough. So how old were you when you saw him as you got older and you actually got the when chance I, to talk to him? When I started going to high school, he stayed around the corner from us. Okay. And, you know, uh, had his own new family and stuff, you know, so mm. that's when I started dealing with it more. Man. As a young boy, as a young kid, um, did you have any resentment at that time for him? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I did, man. It was one of the things that drove me crazy. I just couldn't understand how nobody could not love my mama. It's like as real as she is, you know. And then me looking just like you being a junior, you know, I had a lot of resentment, you know. Mm. Wow, and that you, that that right there caused a, a lot of times some roadblocks because mm -hmm. of anger and everything else. Because you gonna act that anger out. Nick can't control that anger, to be honest with you. Anger, once you take it there, you don't even realize it kick in. Mm -hmm. it's you see what I'm saying? Because you don't really even think about what you've been mad about. It comes out, if a nigga say something, like, I never forget a nigga in jail was snoring, man. I, 
I chalked him up. You know what I'm saying? Because I told him to stop snoring, but it really wasn't about the snoring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was too just tired of him. And now it was just really, I ain't really want to be there, first of all. But at the end of the day, I just give me a reason. A lot of times it's just like, and anger is like that. Anger be sitting there waiting, like, oh, I'm going to get out on somebody. (laughs) Am I right? I wish you would. And then, you know, my anger, a little di- everybody anger different. Mine was a little too hard to control. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, nobody my, could control it. I couldn't. Mm. I don't think nobody could, but as long as I remember, nobody tried but me. Tell me about a situation where um, something happened and your anger lashed out. Oh, uh, shit. Probably, probably getting jumped but I was look, you know, getting jumped on. It was something that 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 was the most humbling. Mm. I think uh when I got jumped on one time it really just that was that that turned fire to my eyes. Mm. More than one person put it, you know what I mean? Right. That put fire in me there. Mm. I never really had, you know, I grew up, you know, um in, in the project so I never really had issues with certain things that was going on in my life. Like with my mom, you know, it was like normal. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no daddies over here. Mm-hmm. So me complaining, it didn't make sense. You, you know, didn't feel, so you, none of your friends, you went over any of your friends' house, they were all single parent I mean, households. You you didn't qualify for an apartment in the projects if you had a daddy and a mom together. But that's True. a part of the damn, that was the that's plan. That's part of the problem. Yeah. No, that was the plan. It ain't no problem. That's it was the, the plan. That's, that's the right. Project. That's the project. Yeah. That's the project. Yeah. That's keeping the whole the, game. Keeping the family separated. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's why they say we're going to come check. And then they take you down there. I used to go down there. They, we were trying to get our food stamp. So they got to take me down there. I got to get dressed up. I usually didn't comb my hair. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? They comb your hair. You know, it hurt a little bit, you know, because mm-hmm. you ain't combed it in a minute. And they dress you up and take you down there, all three of y'all. And then you, me, my brother, and sister sitting there. They want to look at us. Yeah, in a long line. Yeah. <laughs> they want to look at Then you go back and they send you your check. Then you might come back four months later. They and do it all over again. again. They want to see you again. They want to make sure you ain't really got nobody helping you. Can't no man stay at that house. If she's, if he stay at that house, we're going to cut that check off. You're not going to get them food stamps. Am I right? Exactly. <laughs> in the projects, is no daddies. Mm. Stepdaddies. Mm. And he and can't stay. A, if you was a good stepdaddy, you was the all-time quarterback for everybody. You was the only one. So you wrestle your stepchild, you got to wrestle 30 of us. Yeah, you, know I mean? yeah. you can roll that down at the bottom. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, 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 but if the police come through, stepdaddy going to jail. So yeah, he sure will. When they do yeah. the sweep, you trespass. Yeah. You know, so. That's crazy, but, but that's that's the way it be. And, and that's the way it was. Looking back on your life now, because, you know, when you're going through that situation and you're not realizing that your anger is stemmed because you didn't have the father figure and stuff like that in your household. But looking back now, you can you see how important it would have been if you had? Yeah, I see it now. You know, I honestly, uh, I almost, at one point in time, felt like we was better off without it. But then as I got older having kids, I'm like, damn. Like, everybody who I know, it don't matter if they they in the same projects I'm in, same, you know, uh, situation. If they had their mama and daddy, they always came out better. Mm. They weren't the ones doing it all the time. Mm. They never was. I'm talking about street, from the streets, everything. Mm -hmm. Your mama and daddy could have been from the streets. But it always worked out better for somebody to have. I watched that with my own eyes. Wow. Man, you know, I always, like I said, wh- when I think about just and getting going toward the music a little bit, I always when I would when I would hear your music, the pain was in your music, bro. Like like it it was something in you. It was a great. I remember I never forget my little partner, uh, Papa. I said, man, you gotta listen to this J Dog. I put him on the J Dog. That's he was like, man. I said, he, when I let him hear, he called me back. He said, man, that cold, cause he been locked up and stuff. I was like, yeah, nigga. It's real. Like it help. It, it's like a. It's like a. Uh, it's like therapy, bro. People don't realize that, bro. It's therapy for it's people that you already story been. Too, though. No, it is. But people who've been through stuff, listening to what you saying, and it's like it's like a ministry, bro. Right. Yeah, they tell me that. 
No, this is the truth. Because a lot of times the nigga can't be reached in some of those places that you can touch just by some of the things that you testifying and giving your testimony on in those verses, bro. And that's some real talk. Is it such a way where when people listen to the music, they feel like, because, you know, before listening to it, they're like, I'm the only one going through this. Nobody else can understand what I'm doing. when they hear yeah. I'm like, man, I can resonate with what you're saying because I'm going through that too. Yeah. That type and, of feeling. And it's crazy because sometimes I don't have a a, a good end in another story, mm. you know, just to share their pain and be going through the same thing they're going through, even if I haven't mastered it or conquered it or got out of it. That alone seemed like, you know, help. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. how healing is it for you to put that on in your music, on paper, and, you know, get it out and continually have to rap that all the time? It's, it, it's not all uh, as rewarding as it was. Nowadays, it's like, damn, you know, every song, like the features that I get, most damn near every one of them by death or by, right. you know, because so, I'm so connected to it. Mm-hmm. So nowadays it don't give me the same feeling, you know. Mm. Man, um, early on it was stomp down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm talking about just starting, you know, the yeah, early, SDS. early stages of, yeah, SDS. Um, 16 years old. Yeah, I was just about young. to ask how you old. You young. And uh, not only were you young, but you was, you, you was, you was gifted at that time. Didn't know the extent of the giftedness, yeah, me, no but just man. just d- knew you had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like what um, you you meet you meet Slim Thug and all these guys, Boss Hog Outlaws. You meet all these guys uh, periodically. Did you grow up with? It was Mario. Mario. That's who it was. Mario. Yeah, we from the same hood. Uh, Mario. Got, yeah. yeah. We grew up in the bridge. Slim was down the way. Down me, the way. Me and Slim met in school. Okay. 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 So when we start going in immediate together, that's when we. Yeah, it was a Mario. How's he doing? A teenage, yeah, he, he great. I, I can call him now. We talk every day. Okay, good. Yeah, he working hard. He doing this thing. He, he great. Slim actually on um, from another side of, of the north side. Okay. Okay. But he ended up moving on my end during those school school years. That's how we got connected. We actually went to Switch House in the same car the first time mm. we ever did Switch House. But when you think about those early days, those contracts and stuff were so messed up, bro. The worst. And, you know what I'm saying? Like when you think about, because I talked to, I talked to everybody. I talked to D-Rick. I talked to, who else did I talk to down there? I talked to uh, that that was just talking about, you know, Lil Kiki, the contracts, the, 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 the not only the contracts, just the, the, the the trying to understand business at that age, how difficult was that for you? And just even understand what the hell y'all was doing. It was too difficult. For you me see what I'm saying? Because I had people who 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 didn't know to teach me. You know what I mean? So they was trying to learn as they go. Yeah. You know. But it's crazy, right? In my era, everybody knew it was like an unwritten law that everybody knew you was gonna get messed over when your first contract. And as crazy as that sound, it's like everybody knew this. I think Nelly mm-hmm. said the same thing. Yeah, Nelly, yeah. Nelly said he got hit hard. Don't get messed up. The first initial setup in the game, at that time, nigga was losing at that first initial hit. Mm-hmm. And if you get back, you you lucky to get back. Yeah, if you can get back and get yeah. something. You yeah. know what I mean? But it was like a known thing that everybody was going to go through it. You know, so. Man, I like, like the fact of, so how did you... How did you feel like when you was doing the music in the midst of being in a situation where you didn't really understand what the whole game? When did you realize like this ain't when this I ain't came, really really this ain't right or I don't think this the way this thing supposed to go? When I came home, when I came home, you know, when I was in the penitentiary, I said I had the time to sit back and just think of everything. State, you the state penitentiary, and how old are you? What was that, uh, Beto? How you know Because I know. I'm a hustler. I, I, that's, that's right. <laughs> but how old were you? <laughs> He's like, how you know that? Like, we all. 17. I'm from Texas, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, I said, Beto 1, I got chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Beto yeah. 1, like, like, how was it? Like, basically, you come home. How long was you gone? Uh, just three years. Three years. But that's still you, just. Don't you do that just three years. Three years is three years. What like, did you do to get in trouble? <laughs> uh, sh- uh, it was. 
you know how they mess us over when we, when we real young getting in trouble mm -hmm. with the paper. Pay, you got the shot probation. That. You just got that damn shot yeah, probation. So whatever probation I was on, all all the years later when I was older, I'm still dealing with this violation wow. here. Violation. So the last violation sent me down. Oh, mm. deferred adjudicated. They did all kind of stuff. They had names for this stuff. Yeah, it was deferred for me. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I know because yeah. I know the it game. It don't make no sense, you know. That's what's happening to the young guys. It's sad. Showing them papers. Mm -hmm. And that's the first time you went to prison? Yeah. When you 17? Yeah, that was, that, that's our age. Right. To be able to go to penitentiary. No, nah, so, I was locked up with some. It was some 15. They tried some, 15 years as yeah. adults. Yeah, it was TYC. very little. Yeah, in TYC. Yeah. It was very, but it wasn't a lot. It was a low percentage. But they yeah. would do it if they could get over on them in that county. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They yeah. didn't have them all the time, but you would see them sprinkle through. And now I think it's even at it's all even time worse high. Now. Yeah, Texas is the worst. Yeah, Texas got 160 yeah, some it. prisons. Way more prisons Way more than anybody prison. in, in the other in state. The world, in the world. In the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because the first time I ever was on the road going out of town and shit, it was on the blue bus. On that damn bus. Mm -hmm. I exactly know what you're talking so, about. Um, That's the, the biggest trap ever. Man. The first time you went to prison, um, what was your thoughts as a young man being locked up? I knew I was going to go to the penitentiary. I was, I was from the bricks. Okay. Everybody over there, you know what I mean? It was uh, expected. Yeah, so it's crazy to me that nobody didn't want to go to jail, but I was waiting on my time. No. Do people sit you down and say, okay, you're going to go one day and this is what you're going to see. This is what you're going to expect and this is what's going to happen. Yeah, they do it more in a threatening way. You know what I mean? When we when we young, we messing up in TYCs and YMAC and all that. Juvie, you know, and they let us know you ain't ready for that, you know. But it was the same way when we was in intermediate school and they were saying, y'all, when y'all get to middle school, it's going to be serious. You know what I mean? Then in mm -hmm. middle school, they say, when you get to high school, they ain't playing, but you know. <laughs> Did you go to when you did you hit a transfer facility when you like Gurney or something? Of course, I was Gurney. <laughs> so what they what they tell you on the Joe F. Gurney unit? Yeah, but, but ain't that crazy? <laughs> they say, hey, dude, dude, like what's that dude? They say down there for make his home man been down there. He was yanking the toilets out the ground. He was uh -uh. I don't even know who it is, but Why? I just know. Was he crazy? Dude was shaking. Now nah, he just strong like that. He just yeah, he was crazy. <laughs> He was definitely crazy. But, but the crazy part What's is... What's that girl? Is she, she down there? Oh, she six down. fold, six fold. Is yeah, she, she, she marched, but she, she was down there. Yeah, Gurney, you got to go through that. Yeah. That's the <laughs> trans again. That's the Gurney. trans. Middleton. It was crazy. Middleton, too. Gurney had good breakfast, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that that, you, like that, you like that pancake and, and peanut, peanut butter. butter. That was Do you know? peanut butter. Yeah. Do you still eat pancake and peanut butter mm -hmm. today? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Even when it comes to the spreads, right now, in the world, you can buy all the best. Oh, yeah. But the spreads in jail is ten different. times better. Show him. Really? Yep. He ten tried to show me one yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's ten times better. Ten times better. We go and buy all the shit that. But this, you know why, right? You know, Nigga gotta be mentally prepared to eat a spread. You gotta be in prison. You got to be yeah, <laughs> you got to be sitting day. right there. You got to have a bag. Like you got to have a bag. You got to have the yeah, cheese with you. Got to, yeah, yeah, that, that ain't no, no. <laughs> you got to have a bag. You gotta mush it up. Yeah. It gotta be about three, four niggas standing around. With you know what I'm yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Gonna, we yeah. gonna eat this all together. Yeah. We put it in a bag. We he know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I, roll it around I until we get it right. Spread out here that's good as the penitentiary spread. Ever. No, that's real. Ever. I agree. You could put the same stuff and just don't taste the same. Don't taste the same. And, and, and this the real stuff out here. Wow. You're getting the real name stuff. The stuff in there, man, shit. It's different. Call it, the generic. It, it's different. So you get home, how did you, what was the thing that made you made you realize, like, man, I got to do something to get, you know, this business and all? Right before I came home. Oh, nigga, what, you, they was, what was going on? Hey, John. What? <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, man, no cap. You know what I mean? Mike Jones, I didn't even know he, he rapped. When I left, he was like uh, part of the promotion team. You know, he had the flies out and, you know, I didn't even know he can rap. Matter of fact, he was, he, he even at one point in time was down to like the designated driver when we on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he didn't smoke, he didn't drink. You know, so man, I'm in the penitentiary, man, around killers. If anybody here, if, if somebody say who, Everybody say Mike, Mike Jones. Jones. Yeah. <laughs> and when I seen the picture of him, I'm like, man, this ain't the designated job. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> me up. But then in my mind, I'm like, damn, this is how far we taking to see far I left. I just want to hear my hood represented. Yeah. 
in a car riding by. You know that. You want to hear it? I didn't platinum and all that old shit. Thinking. Like dog came in with his marketing plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I told yeah. him that here when I interviewed him. I marketing said, "Ain't no nigga genius. really come in." I gave him an award for marketing, marketing genius. genius. You got to come back on here too. Yeah. You got, don't let this be the last time you come on this show, bro. Man, listen, I'm family, we gotta, man. We, yeah, we gotta, we gotta keep it going because. I be I, I be blessing my people. I gotta show my people love, bro. Now nobody gonna we we can't wait on BET and all that stuff. We gotta no, do no, it while we can't. love each other, bro. We while, while we got each back. other, you know what I'm saying? But what, I'm just what I'm just y'all thinking about Tyler Perry buying, buying BET. He didn't get it. I heard he didn't get he it. Said it. It fell through. Mm-hmm. Him and somebody else. It fell through. They didn't want him to get it after he got so close. You know how they'll they put that bait out you. there. Mm-hmm. They don't want that nigga. He, but he need to just start his own network. And, and, and you got the and money. He can. Too. People yeah. would follow. We got already one black person. Yeah, out there yeah, that's uh, that uh, the bald head boy, the weather guy yeah, too. What's his? What is his name? I don't forgot it, but I know it's I, Byron Allen. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's him. He got a we- the weather channel. I know. He worth that money. Look it up. It's Byron Allen. I can't believe it fell through on him. Mm-hmm. It fell through on him. Who got it right now? It ain't even a black person that on be. No, hell no. How the hell are you on black? Yeah, it's Byron Allen. That's just like me owning the Mexican channel and I ain't a Mexican. Yeah, Byron, Byron Allen makes ten billion bid on Disney, ABC. He's still trying to buy stuff. Byron Allen is the guy that that pretty yeah. much running and owning different stuff. And we I keep heard. watching it. We keep watching BT and all that stuff, we although don't we don't it. own it. Black no. entertainment. Mm-hmm. That's just like it, the uh, 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 Black Lives Matter. What if white people own the Black Lives? Matter? They said the atheists wrote wrote the Bible. I heard that before. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, here's what I'm. I'm I say. mean, now they say atheists made the, not wrote the Bible. Atheists made the Bible, uh uh uh, uh page on the uh, phone, the, the app. The one on the app, yeah. The well, King when you when you look at yeah, when you look at who wrote the Bible, you know, it scrolls and all that. You start going through a history, and you end up in the East and all that. And two or three different groups of people wrote the Bible, but put it together at different times. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, but right. when you get down to the crops of it, like apps and stuff like that, anything could be happening. Because mm-hmm. anybody trying to make some money, they don't care nothing about nothing but trying to make that bread. Yeah, that's sad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, we, in a, we, in a, we in a crazy world when it comes to that. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, like I said, when I look at you coming home, you when you get home, you hear the Mike Jones who, you get home, you got to try to get your business together now because you you grow. People don't realize when a person go to prison, right, when they come home, they be like, man, you changed. Nigga, it's been three years. Hell yeah, I changed because I done had time to think. Really, nigga watching his back. I got time to think about all you niggas out here who ain't never, y'all ain't writing me. Yeah, ain't, ain't no really money thinking about me. Books so nothing. I'm cool with that. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> when you come home, you, what do you, what do what's the first thing you do to try to get your business straight? Man, when I came home, man, I, I was still still green. I was still blinded. I was trying to. I still wanted to give me a brick. Yeah. I can't. I'm thinking about selling dope. Well, what was the first song that you did, and who did you work with? You went back oh, with okay. Slim you about, yeah, like oh, the music. You about the recent. Time I came no, home. no, I'm talking when you first the come home back recent. then. No, okay. back then when you come home, cause the niggas waiting on you. You was popular, man. Yeah, when I came home, everybody was wondering did, did I have a lot of music. I ain't right now one j- rapping jail. So no, mm-hmm. boy. when I came home, I damn near did a project in one week. You know what I mean? Like the behind ten one when I came home, I did that so quick it was ridiculous. But why wow. you didn't write while you were in jail? Cause I've I never did. heard no. What, you just not depressed? Nah, I wasn't depressed at all. I I don't know why. I actually that's the only thing. What the, the first the, the second time I ever cried in jail mm-hmm. because I was talking to God. I was like, you took my talent from me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you thought something was wrong because you couldn't write, you I couldn't, couldn't do, yeah. you couldn't think. I'm like, I can't believe it. Yes, I'm yeah. Like, and, and, and then it's not do so bad. I'm begging him, please. And worry. you know them niggas in there, they they expecting to hear you rap or something. Oh yeah, they. Were. You know that. Yeah. Them niggas in there beating on tables and chests. Yeah, they wanted to hear. <laughs> Actually, my brother, you know what I mean? He from Dallas. He was one of the coldest ever and still to this day he out here right now and the people don't even really know it. What's his name? What's his name? Rory. Rory. Okay, okay. He from Dallas. He he out here now. 
Cole. Cole. Mm. Rod Reed. It, it, that's the one LD was locked up with, too. He told that. Damn show sure is. That's, I met. Remember, we, we did an interview yeah, with him. Yeah. When, when we did that with Donnie Long. Yeah, I know Rod Reed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to him. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's my brother. But y'all both say that. I ain't never heard the nigga rap one time. Shh. That boy, that's I'm gonna put that nigga in here and make him do me a freestyle. I'm gonna hit that nigga. I got his number. Man, I'm gonna see him. So nigga, these nigga to LD told me, J Dog told me, nigga, we tired. Of Stop playing, nigga. He the baddest. You know what I'm I want to hear him. Why we the baddest? Man, it's because because you, you two two cold. The cold is on the unit on B was Rory and Fro. They could go. Man, say. I gotta ask you back. Um, did you ever get an answer from God why He did that to you while you were in prison? Because you know sometimes yeah. after yeah, He let me live live by the uh, answer if I'm if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like uh, as I kept dealing with Him and in, in, in so many ways He was showing me, you know, I can do this. Yeah, you know what I mean. So if you play with this, I can take this back. Yeah, you know what I mean. And if you play with it, you know, you don't do right by it. I won't give it back to you, you know? And I didn't even think that was possible. Like, I didn't think that it'll would, it would ever be a day I can't rap. Mm -hmm. I can't even put my thoughts together. Yeah. And he took it. Because wow. you think that all you need is your voice, but really that's yeah, not think, all you need. I don't never remember, remember learning how to rap, so how it's gone, you know? That's how natural rapping is with me. Mm -hmm. So like, how is it gone? And yeah. It was absolutely gone. Somebody, I couldn't even beat on the table. And you couldn't even come up with nothing. I thought. He I wanted you to spend that time with him. Yeah, okay. I, I was so scared because I was like, damn, I ain't never did number sell dope and rap. Mm -hmm. you know so did saying? you go back to Boss, or did you link up with Boss Hog Outlaw as soon as you came home on that, after that bid? Mm hmm And y'all, what's what was the first music that, that, you, that you done? And, and uh... It wasn't behind ten. You didn't do that the first exact soon as you came home. Nah, it wasn't. It was uh, man, I could be wrong. I I believe it was Seven Collect. Okay, okay. Project. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all heard riding on fold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Boy, that riding on fold, boy, that's stupid. Man, I talked to Mr. Lee about that. I talked to G and B done. Mm -hmm. Them niggas told me they wanted that and they didn't get it because yeah. they thought they were going to get the beat. beat they there. did a beat, but they couldn't get it. But they when told me Mr. something. Mr. Lee did them bells. It, Bro, them <laughs> niggas told me. Like four people did beats. Beat on them was great. Every time Ray Face, Ray Face, Ray Face, yeah, yeah. He a genius. Yeah. Every time he brought one to me, I was like, that's it. And he left. I'm thinking, that's it. Come back with another. I was like, nah, that's it right there. He left. Came back with another. Man, that's it. We can't. Be like, don't show me no more. <laughs> Came back with them bells in a minute. Doom, 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 Mr. Doom. Lee. Mr. Lee did it twice. You know what I mean? Did he a beat twice. That's the one. Though. We heard that. We knew it. Did, okay. And 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 I know uh, B. Dunn and G. Luck told me that you would rap to like Eminem or another beat. I when did you, that when whole you, song to Eminem. Yeah, yeah. That's what they told me. Yeah, so they sell, most of all my songs like that, with the real beats put up on them, most that, of them. Came that's what up I heard. On YouTube beats and that's all. Yeah. That's all. It, what make it to where that takes you there? You just be. You have to be in the car riding, or what the hell is Man, going on? It's the music. And then you where know, do you be listening to it at and start just rapping to it? Usually in the car. That's what I thought. Cause yeah. You know I don't write. Yeah, I know. So you know I'm usually in the car. You know, and and then you know. Um, I'm so passionate. It's crazy. It, 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 you know, it's always something. Yeah. That's heavy on my heart and my mind. Yeah. You know, so if I could put it in words, then you know, but it's always seemed like it's some heavy on my heart and my mind. Bro, you said nobody taught you how to rap or anything like that. Um, but who was your greatest inspiration as a kid before you know that got you into the rapping? Tupac. 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 And DMX. And then that's why you said, let me try this. Yeah. Well, now, I don't remember saying, let me try it. That damn just seemed natural. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm from the projects, but we was, like, like we was one of the poorest families in the poorest neighborhood. You know what I mean? Didn't have it like that. When days without eating? I don't remember ever going without eating. <laughs> okay. One thing in the projects, man. You go Somebody eat. go eat. Yeah, you go eat. You go eat. <laughs> Man, uh, new wave, same water. Same water. Yeah. What 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 made you come up with that slogan? What does that even? It's the blend. Okay. It's a separation these days with old and young, and you don't even 
get one without the other. Okay. You know, so it's just a blend. It's like, even though they got a new way of doing things, it's the same water they do, you know, same blend, you know. You know, I love one thing about you Houston niggas, man. I can't lie, y'all. I can't say, I be on these Dallas dudes a lot of time. I just was talking to somebody about this. Like, I be trying to figure out, like, who's next, who you helping, how, who you getting on the feature with, the young people coming up, you know, it seemed like y'all figure it out up there for real. Like, like y'all mm-hmm. seem like y'all were. It may not even be that way, but it seems like. Yeah, like does. when I talk to Young Easy, they uplift you some terrible. Like these young, the other people coming behind you, you guys don't hesitate to be an imprint, whether they paying or whatever, or they got to hustle or whatever. Y'all always be there for them, and I, I commend you guys for that. Yeah, I think I got that from the projects. Really? Yeah, I think if we don't got nothing down packed. We got the we thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's always been we. You know, it's never been me, you know? Yeah. I don't even believe that um, you could judge a parent the right way without looking at the kids. So I definitely don't believe that you can judge the little homies the right way without looking at the, you know, the old The OGs, yeah. And a lot of the OGs not doing their job. And, you know, it ain't me the point of my, up to me the point of my butt. You can see it in their faces, and you know, not the ones that's up. They a lot of them say, "Man, I don't got no OG." A yeah, I hear that a lot. I heard that too. And they get offended when you speak up on, and that's just unheard of in my era. But I, I can see where it come from. But I want to know, but because the blueprint of what y'all have down there, because everybody always say it, just like what he was saying, the, t- the togetherness down there in Houston, but I want to see that spread amongst everybody, because when we talk about Dallas, I've heard the youngsters say, I don't know these OGs. They stay in their lane, we stay in our lane, but why can't everybody come together? Yeah, I don't understand it either. It's tough, it's the same man. way in Houston, though. Oh, yeah, it, it is we, the same it just way? Look, it just looks... It don't it, look that way, though. Oh, it's, so, it's so much like that. It's the same way, and, and I think everybody else look at everybody else's and they like, oh, it and I better. buy it, but it'd be the they same thing. They say the same thing. thing about Atlanta. They say Atlanta is so and together. And then we talk to the Reds and all them and talk and to all the people down still there. separation. Say the same thing. So much competition with each other, man. I don't understand it. Wow. Um, first time seeing yourself on BET. How was that? Uh It was interesting, man. It was <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't even lie. <laughs> I don't even remember too much. What was the first time one hundred six and Park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was uh, was it uh, that no was the First time we was on BET one hundred six. I think. Yeah, yeah. Tigger. Like what? Oh no, the basement. The it was Tigger in the basement. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What did you think when you seen yourself? I should have did more. You felt like you could have did something, brought it harder? Not harder, more. More? Yeah, because you know. Which it's song like, was it? Because I don't want to have it wrong. Now nah, they just dropped the beat in they, the basement. Oh, you talking about just you being in there? Start. Oh, you was in there, you were only like that. Yeah, that I was the first it. time? Yeah, the first time. You didn't feel like you killed him because you Jay dog I didn't. Do, I didn't do Who was wrong. in there with you? Me, Slim, Kylie I think I remember PJ, that now. Kylie on PJ, Chris Ward. I think that's it. Are you a person that's always hard on yourself? Yeah. So you gonna always think that no matter what then? Right, right. I'm real hard on myself. Mm-hmm. So when you went back and watched it, what was your, did you say I couldn't be hard? Go back you watch didn't watch it? it? I'm so petty. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck this. I ain't watching it. I ain't watching it. You just knew you, you just knew you could have done better. I just knew if I would have been 100% me when I went into that room, it would have been, you know what I mean? Epic. You know, did you, is it just cause, cause I ain't gonna lie, when I hear you on a track, I expect you to be bring the heart of the, out of everybody. I don't care. And it, and it's sad because I'm a, I love Scarface. Mm-hmm. And, but when I heard you on that Scarface track, I still was waiting like j Dolph for to eat this hoe. Like it, that's the way we be feeling for you, bro. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm being real. I'm over appreciative cause you know, faces like. Yeah. And I'm telling you, even that's why I said his name because it would be, you wouldn't think that a nigga would be anticipating the wait, cause you, I think you came last on that diversion. Yeah, and, and and when you came, a nigga was waiting on it. It made it like I got, we got to hear what J Dog gonna mm. say. And you didn't let us down either. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? See, <laughs> How was that? You got to break that down for me. I didn't just say that just man, for the I didn't even hear a face on it before I got on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just heard Slim kill it. 
But he told me Face was going to be on it. So that was enough for me. You knew you had to bring it. Yeah. Well, you know, all I do is tell my story, so I ain't really a lyrical. Uh, I, don't I know that, but. So, you know, I just. You know. know when you give it, you just said, I didn't give it my best shot when I was in the basement. You know when you get on that track. I was nervous in that basement. I get it. I want, you know what I mean? I yeah. was nervous in that Because that's the first time you're doing something yeah, like I'm that. Like, man, I'm thinking about it. I watched this shit, man, and if I fumble, how embarrassing that would be. So, I guess I, I just. I mm -hmm. went, I went, you know, I was a little nervous on the fumbling for. Wow. I did not want to fumble. Mm -mm -mm. So you've been back on BT after that, right? Because you, you went to one yeah, of the shows. Award show and stuff like that. But you've never done anything like that again live on BT? Nah, well, they don't have too much of nothing no more. You know, um, they don't have the, the shows. The right. basement gone, 106 gone. They need to bring all that back. Because that was fun. I remember I them days. I think Tyler would have brought some of that back. I was hoping so. But then if he starts something new, it's almost like you'd want him to not bring that back, but do something totally different because you don't want to make it feel like he's trying to copy them. It ain't too much you can do if you got any kind of competition against BET. I think you're going to be hard to win against BET. Mm -hmm. All new BETs. Yeah, that's true. They say that about podcasts. That's right. I watch my podcast. Yeah, because I, I really need a freestyle today. I ain't going to play with you. I really need something. I'm going to put something on. We're going to put them earphones on before we get out of here. Hey, I, I don't do, I ain't, I don't watch no more podcasts. <laughs> really? I don't think I ever watched, uh, that's all man's thoughts up every day. Like the, uh, no, no, no BET podcast. page or nothing like that on the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I got to have a Jada freestyle. Favorite, who y'all favorite podcast? Me. I'm saying I signed you. Yeah, so, <laughs> like, what? Yeah. What, 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 now, what? if I'm if I'm gonna watch one, let me see who it would be. If I'm gonna watch a podcast, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I like I like the interaction of like I like eighty five South. Yeah, I like them too. like because that you know they've been on here. They be coming on my show. So I mean, and, and not for that reason, but then they some brothers like me. We country niggas. So at the end of the day, I think that's why it means when I watch them. It means like like I could see myself in the whole situation because mm -hmm. they might say anything, they might tell us something that would happen in the country, and then being a country nigga, I can relate to it. Or if, if Rick Ross get up and walk walk out the set and don't come back, stuff like that, that's hilarious to me. Yeah, that's super. Funny. And then I'm in here checking him about it on here, me and Carlos. I'm giving him hell like nigga, don't you ain't all what that nigga. Say? I told the nigga he wasn't all that. I said, shit, Rick Ross walked out on you. Yeah, 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 he did. Nigga, if anybody walk off, you know, we just going, man, I'm going to be honest with you. I why, do this. Why they say Rick Ross is little man? <laughs> I think he just, I really think Rick Ross, I think he really, listen, I think he really said he had to use restroom, and I think he was, he got so high, he just forgot he was dealing with podcasts. You know, I nigga just be like, I got to go get this money. <laughs> I got to go get this money, nigga. I told him if Rick Ross come over here, his ass can't get out of here. <laughs> Say, so I, I mean you know getting back to it man like when you think about I think it was um, Lakeith your cousin man. that was down in the country wasn't it yeah and and right, I, I think I had Rory yeah, yeah Rory, Rory uh, that was that was down on 43 I believe yeah, that's the club called 43. Yeah, it, it, well, it, it was Bawana back in the day. He been oh, on here. I, I, the owner, I, I know all of them. My uncle built that club, yeah. meaning, you know, help build it. Oh, do he know that that was my cousin? I don't, I, don't, I don't think we talked about that. I'm not going to lie to you ever, but uh, but I guarantee you, it's been a lot of stuff going on down there, bro. That's a, I told him he the only dude that I know that had Millie Jackson and Mo3. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. You, you know what I just said? <laughs> Nigga, you had Millie Jackson. And Mo 3. And Mo 3. You had Millie Jackson, Two Live Crew, and Mo 3. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't even know who Millie Jackson is. That's crazy. Yeah. So it's like, so, but but that had to be a hard one for you. Were you down there when that happened? I got, I came immediately. You Man. came down to the country. Man, do you know I hated that whole city for a long time? I, I, I can't so. imagine. Man. Uh, How did you get through it though, Jay Dow? I ain't over it. You never yet. got over it. I love the city, you know, uh, Marshall. Yeah, I know exactly. Man, that was too deep there, man. Because y'all grew up, y'all was close. <laughs> my first cousin. I know. They beat him in the head with 
those metal ass country ass chairs and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he was just down there at the party, like we and we would be down there, man, so much. I seen so much down he there. With, he missed them females like him. Yeah. And I guess he had talked to one female, her dude came over and that's how it, you know what I mean? That's where it happened. I ain't gonna lie. I, I I fought in there nights. Hey, that's what we done down there. But it usually just yeah, was I a scrap. That same yeah, thing. it usually just was a scrap. Yeah. But for you, you know, to go back home, it had to be a long ride back to Houston, well, man. Man, say. I mean, my mama couldn't even, you know. How old were you this time now when all this happened? Man, I don't remember. I had like in your 20s? Nah, I was way younger. You were younger than that. Young. 15. Yeah. Oh, okay. 14, 15. Tell you, I started going to that club when I was 11. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that. yeah, that's how I go down down there. Yeah, that's, I'm talking about. Country you living. Yeah. You, you want to see no cars until you hit a certain back street. <laughs> and it'd be all it's it's cars forever. Cars back there, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. That's what you that, yeah, it's Karnak. That's where it's yeah, at. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it is. But at the end of the day, just I thought about that. I said I was going to ask that you about that on mind. the show because I know that, that that he was so close to you. Yeah, that blew my mind. You know, and he's so he a different breed of person. You know, so to get beat to death. You know what I mean? It's just it do something to me right now. You know, man. And you know, being one that you know. Like I said, again, anger takes a, it sits right there. As soon as that, something like that happens, it just sit there and wait on you to react again somewhere else. And you know, we ain't, we, we, we ain't telling no proper tools how to deal with that. No, heck no. You know, they, if you go to a doctor, they just gonna call you bipolar and give you some Prozac. You know what I mean? It ain't like you're gonna, you know. Man, and I hate to keep, but since I'm down there, uh, Barrett, man, he was a part of Stump Down. Yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah. And you know, you know Barrett. Uh, Anita's husband well, mm -hmm. was Anita's husband and you remember we went over there I sold him some stuff mm -hmm. I, you know I took stuff home I talked to him what, right before he passed and clothing through. I would go down there and I'm gonna stop by there and they get him some shoes yeah. some whatever they need man cause that's my people so I was always gonna go there even though I had five stores out here mm -hmm. I still go home I always go home I even had a store in Marshall for a little bit but I would always take some down there for my people bro yeah they don't have nothing down no, there mm -hmm. not like that it was everything that's name brand and that's really nice. And that mall closed to sell. Yeah, the mall closed. Shit, that mall didn't have nothing. It didn't have nothing with it won't, but it <laughs> You better you so, better go to Walmart. But but boy, when you think about Barrel, I wanna I wanna share some just 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 tell a Barrel story, you know, like 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 rapping with him or just hearing him. You hearing know, that's my little cousin, man, so you know uh, his mama and my mama was so close. It's to the point where Everything since he was a baby, you know, we've been around each other. So we bow, you know, just even him telling me he want to rap and hearing him for the first time, it just it was all amazing to me, you know. Wow. I'm like, damn, you can really rap, you know. And he used to trip me out. I just can't believe he did. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That was a surprise to us too, because yeah. we had, just, we, been we had just been down there and seen him, and it wasn't like he was sick or none, none, of, that. none, none, none of, that. of that stuff. He had told me the day before he had went to the hospital, and they sent him home. Yeah, you know. So when he said they sent him home, I'm thinking you get sent home. You're yeah, already you good. good. Shit. The next morning, I get the call. Yeah, I remember. I remember, man. Um, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. His mom, his mom is like my was my favorite lady. Yeah, Maddie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you we're know, losing these people that are been that have been so close to you, and they're not old. These are young people. Yeah, so many. How how does that mentally affect you and your life? I don't know. I don't know. All I all I know is most most of the time I sit back a year from. You know, a situation and say, "Damn, look how it affected you." While I'm living it, sometimes you I'm, can't see it. But it, I go three, four years without want to be around nobody. Everybody, man, biggest problem with me is my phone. They're like, "Why you don't answer your phone?" I don't know when that started happening. It's not on purpose. I'm not looking at it. It's just like I got so disconnected with phones and people, and it was just like. I don't know. I got I, I to ask you about Mug, man. Man. I got to ask you about it because you did that song, right? Man. But the song, when I listen to it, is like you really like angry. Mm -hmm. 
about so man forever. You know what I mean? Yeah, so man. It was like it like he was like man, you know, like you niggas ain't really really because it's like the praying hand scenario. Yeah, like niggas just do that for fun. Yeah, do you really pray for me? Yeah, (laughs) yeah. It's like when you say it. Is you serious, you know? And, and, and it's crazy, cause Mug, man, this just gave me chills. Mug, when he, probably, probably a week before he died, you know, he was just going through it, you know what I mean? Mentally, I ain't know the answer. And I was like, man, bro, I wish it was something I could do. We best friends, whatever you going through is in your head, though. So it's like, it's nothing I could do, mm-hmm. because it's in your head. For sure. And he said, you can pray. And I don't remember what I said, you know, answer, my answer to him, but it was a but before it. <coughs> Excuse me. That blew my mind. So did you did you get to pray for him or you didn't pray? Probably did. But I said something but. And, and you he, don't like that part. I didn't know that. I man, got you. You should have prayed right then and then stop pulled over. I didn't know it was that dangerous. Yeah, you know yeah. What? And then Mug ain't. Yeah, the he thing not the type, the, he not the type that you would think would kill himself. So you know. Yeah, and and I know you 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 basically try to figure it out with him for you to even be asking those type of questions. You know what I'm Man, saying? You know the words say uh, it talks about uh, casting down imagination and every high thought that or every high thing that brings itself against the knowledge of God. You know what I mean? Like your imagination, your mind, man, your metanoia. Your mind can take you places, bro. And if you ain't got something to combat some of the thoughts that come up, bro, it gets real crazy. Yeah, I know it. And that's, that's, the, that's the worst jail I ever been in. Bam. You know what I mean? The that point. One. Yeah. That's why I always ask about mental state because a lot of times people don't think about how different things affect their life because they're just strolling through life and not realizing the reason why I acted out, the reason why I can't keep a girlfriend, the reason why, you know, there's different things is because of things that you haven't dealt with in your head Mm. from past situations. I can believe that. That's why I want people to stop for a second and really, you know, do a mental check, so to say. I don't think I do that enough. I really believe that I'm, I, I'm tormented in my head sometimes. You know, it was a time just recently, if I fall asleep and have a dream, I got killed every single time. It was no other dream, you know, and it was crazy to me because I was thinking, like, trying to make sense of something like this, it's hard. You can't understand, like, you know, sometimes you try to figure out what is trying to be said here, but it ain't nothing you can Thank but you. just like at Jamaica, um, we always said dream don't walk straight. Meaning like a lot of times when we dream about things, it don't always happen exactly how we dream it. It's just just like in the Bible, Jesus spoke in parables. He never just told you exactly this is what mm-hmm. it's going to be, blah, blah, blah. So even whenever I, you know, hear people talk about dreams, I said there's a meaning behind it. Every dream has a meaning. It might not even be for you. You know what I mean? So right, don't take right. it to heart and feel like some people will do like what you said, like, Dream that and be like, oh my God, I'm going to die tomorrow. I'm going to die. There's too much of that, you know? Yeah. And they don't know how to live their life. They live their life in fear because of That's that. That's not living at all. Yeah, I mean, and, and the thing. That's not I, living at all. I, I, exactly. A lot of times we do use coping mechanisms, you know what I mean? Drinking, uh, smoking, whatever mm-hmm. we can to try to figure it out. And those things ain't nothing but pacifiers, really, and things that really, it. It, can't, it can't take the pain away. Ain't no answer. Mm-mm. Ain't no. Ain't, it ain't gonna do nothing. But pretty much, it it can, it can lessen the blow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the blow coming. Yeah. Yeah. You know it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. It ain't. It ain't gonna take it away at all. Just a small mm-hmm. cushion. Yeah. So what's the answer then? When it gets to a point where that's what you're gonna say at the end of all that, and some people that's the, they can't go no further. When they when they done did all the drugging they can do, and they done did all the still no answer. Some people can't go no further. Yeah, you know that's I, real. I, I don't believe that was my partner problem when he killed himself, but you know I done dealt with a lot of suicide. Yeah, and most of them feel like they did everything they could do. And Tunnel they, vision. Yeah, they really feel like any option you can give them, they done win there, and wow. they can't take it no more. I can't see myself doing it to myself. 
I yeah, think the answer is just putting all your trust in God and say, you know, God, whatever you have for my life, that's what I'm, I'm mm -hmm. put all my trust in you because I don't know and you ain't telling me. So guess what? I'm just going to walk by faith and do everything right according to as much as I can mm -hmm. and keep it pushing. Like, why are you going to stress over something? You, can you can't you stress over it. something that you can't control. Some yeah. people don't even know they can talk to God like that, though. Mm -hmm. That's a whole challenge, opening up. Mm -hmm. being able to open up like that it because what? it's not easy you know what I mean like if you think about it a lot of times a bruh if you ain't even you know it's a place where you gotta hit rock bottom or you gotta I always call it your three days of dying mm -hmm. like like you gotta go through this spot where nobody can help you mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying in order to even touch or either get you know to even touch or feel that spot where you talking about where you can start to change mm -hmm. that ain't even the change that's the place where you just turn in the curve you see what I'm saying? You, that's yeah, that's just the start that. of it. I've been through that a couple times. Yeah. But when you said that um, some people don't even know that they can pray, when did you start praying before every show? Well, you know, I'm from East Texas, you know. I'm from Houston, East Texas. And if they don't do nothing else, they're going to pray. Pray. They're going to go to church. They're going to, you know. So me coming up, I always knew God was the answer. And I always felt like I had some kind of personal relationship. But as I got older, he was showing me. Like he started showing me, showing me. Mm. But when he took my talent from me, that did it. That did that's it. when you started doing that. And I say, man, that's crazy. Because, you know, we hear that. Our parents used to threaten us, say, you know, I bring you in the world, I can take you out. Mm -hmm. and, you know, but when God took my talent when I couldn't rap, that's just like him taking my ability to eat. Eat, yeah. For and sure. I literally can't eat. Yeah. That is like unprecedented. No, I get it. I get it. How did you feel when um when when Snoop Dogg how did Snoop Dogg end up jumping on that remix, man? Man, well, I, he just did it and sent it. He just did it and sent it. He gotta be the realest cat I know. Explain to me how that day went for you. You know, I'll be trying to get there. Man, my mind was blown. Which <laughs> I blown. know it was. This man did a chorus, a new chorus on that. He did two verses. Wow. And he talked for almost five minutes on that. Show love. Man, j Dow, that's my brother from another mother. And all this, and I never met him. But he showed love. Man, past that's love. That's favor, bro. Yeah, that's past love. You know, favor ain't fair. Yeah, it ain't. But, so, and, and you just, you didn't even see that coming? No clue. How did he get it to you, though? Through somebody that he connected with, one of his family members, to stay out here. Oh, and he, he was like, I'm, he, he hit me up with right Jada. It's my head up. That's well, how was your day going, though? What, did it break the ice? I mean, did I it can't break? I remember nothing. I just remember. It changed the motor thing. It, it threw me for a loop. This Snoop, you know what I mean? This <laughs> the OG, this Uncle Snoop. And you know, I'm a pot head, pot gone. This is probably one of the closest I can get to a pot. I was just like, wow, man, unbelievable. You, thank you for always that. That whole project was dope. You, you know that that one. Now that's why you mentioned East Texas. Listen, that whole project was dope, bro. Yeah. Like even the part I think you did a mama song, like a, a pop. Dry eyes. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. You did that <laughs> yeah. song, and I was like, man, because I, you know, I I lost my mom, you know, early on. So mm, a lot so of times when I would, would 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 hear that kind of stuff. It gave me, it strengthened me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it made you feel better. Some it made you feel better. No, 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 no. I already know because I know who God is, bro. Like that when when she she loved God, so that made me start you searching. Knew God Adam. Well, I didn't really believe in God like that. I mean, it made me go research it, and that made me go on a venture to where I knew He was real. So when I, that's what gave me comfort because I right now you know He real. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But but during that time when she passed away, I had to go find that. I couldn't mm -hmm. just believe her because I was like, man, she ain't educated enough to know what she know about God. But I, I got to go find it. Just real. I, I might be a Muslim. You know, I ain't going to mm -hmm. lie to you. That's how I was thinking. But when I started researching the book and started looking through all the scrolls, too real, too it's real. I, started, I couldn't figure out nothing wrong. It was all right. I ain't found a flaw yet. Yep. It was all right. So... That's the that's the, the one thing. Who is that right there? Let's talk about it. Hey, K, I just want them to see this before I pour it up. Already? Yeah, this this Dallas, one of Dallas on AK. That's my little brother, man. Shout, shout out to AK, man. Um, 
let's talk a little bit about associates, man. Uh, let's talk about it. I mean, you, man, I'm telling you, I could keep going with you all day because I love your music. Associates. Yeah. Cool. Associates was something to where, tell me just a little bit of how that even came together. Shit, that's how Slim doing, you know. Uh, Slim, me and Slim brothers, you know what I mean? So, you know, he already know when he hears something. What I sound good on, you know what I mean? And he, you know, he usually come get me for them street records. Like yeah. That. So, you know. And again, when I heard the beat, I didn't hear him, his verse or a zero verse. I just heard the chorus, you know what I mean? Yeah, you had the hardest verse for me on that. Appreciate it. That's man. just my opinion, but it's, it's biased. So, I, I'm, you know, I, I got certain things I'm looking for that other niggas ain't looking for. Yeah. So it's biased, you know what I'm saying? But but I know. definitely know that, like I said, it's 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 the the East Texas ties. It puts you in a different place for me, and the fact that you really rapping like it's not a game. You know what I'm saying? So them you ain't got to do it, but go a little bit, and it's gonna be over for any yeah, nigga man. for me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's not I'm biased. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, what y'all thought about my OG Pokey, man? Man, listen, y'all just did that project together in February, man. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I I. Do you think God was lining you up? Like, okay, I'm going to let you do this. Oh, no, man. Think about what mm. I'm saying. Because you got something, you know, you got a whole project with him. Y'all did a whole whole uh, album together. Yeah, but that don't make it better for me. Man. I know it I don't know. make it better, but mm. it, you, at least you got that. It could have been where you... Some people wishing they had a guy. So I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm one of them wishes. Like, I got texts in my phone where I didn't text this man trying to get him on the show when I'm in Houston, or I go through Renetta, or I go through this person. I got all them texts where, or I talk to LD, man, I need to get him, man, I need to get him, and then that happened. And then ESG hit me up at three in the morning, like, E, big boy, did I said, what? You see what I'm saying? Now I'm like, damn, I ain't get the interview. I wish I could've got to just talk to the man. Mm. The thing that people don't understand is, and you know, I'm glad I'm in this industry, but People who are actors, entertainers, anybody that's um, on the camera, they're leaving something for their kids. These, your children, your children, children can always pull up this interview, always pull up all the movies, all the entertainment, all the performances. They have something to hold on to. A person who is not doing this, I wish that I had something of my grandmother. Mm. I can only remember certain well, things in my head. But yeah, you, she wasn't uh, living that life. Yeah, you just said it. You just said it too, because I sure wish I could go watch a little clip. Me too. My or my mom. Right. Man. I don't have nothing. You remember Can Only Go? You remember Only Go? Yeah. I drove all the way trying to just get a picture of my mama, man. You remember Can Only Go so I far? I a picture in my wallet right now. I don't even, can't even fit in the wallet with <laughs> Me it. too. Uh, Me and you got the same thing going? No yeah, trip. I got the same thing, I promise you. Anytime you start looking in your wallet and you trying to hold on to memories, you'll find stuff like this. You see the top of that picture? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Look at the top of these pictures. These pictures, look how, look how my pictures look. That's crazy. Nigga trying to hold on to something. Mm -hmm. Missing, missing. Yeah, I'm saying, trying to hold on. And I'm, it's hard. This was in, see? Jeff, this was in Jefferson. See? Holding on. Yes, sir. And that's your mom? And, and my uh, dad. That's Let me hard, see. man. And that's an old picture too. You don't find them like that no more. That's Let me tell you what you do with stuff like this. This is how I think. You go laminate it. Laminate I know what you're going to say. Go get multiple copies because if anything ever happened, you're going to be sick as ever if you lose if this lose picture. Yeah, I'm sure so you got to get and multiple max copies. And all this about 50, 50 cents on a dollar to laminate it. Yeah, laminate it. Yeah. So it protect it from water and all the different damages and stuff like that. When you hold something that there, you better do it and upload it to the cloud. Take a picture of <laughs> that it. That damn cloud. That's real. That's I the best that. way to hold on to these things. You yeah, always man. have it with you. But that's a picture, but that's, that's, that's in the country. That lobby, man. Say, that's that, red, that's, that's that dirt, baby. Yeah, that make that Lake of the Pine. That about Lake of the Pine? Yeah. Man, I, I, like I said, man, you you exciting interview for me because I just, like I said, I'm a, I'm a big, a huge fan, and I know already, you know, I've been waiting on this interview. I knew I was going to get it. There's certain ones I know God going to line yeah, up we for me. Yeah, we talked to Yeah, but I already know. I just don't know how. But I know I'm like, I'm good over there. Yeah. I never got it impatient because I know already God, the universe going to line it up, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So thank you yeah, for coming on the show. to bro. come to you, man. Man, I know. And, and I've been anxious to get you in this. I'm like, <laughs> man, I got to get my boy Jay Don't I? Mm -hmm. I, I, I certain I ones never, I talk about. And I promise I'll never do interviews. Man. I know. Mm -hmm. I know how that. Old, how, um, how old were you when your mom passed away? 
She's still no, she's still, still here. Yeah. She's, oh, okay. she, but she had she, kidney problems. Kidney problems, and you know, right now she's going through a lot of dementia. It's so bad. Sometimes she don't remember me. Really? You know, so. Yeah. My grandfather had that, but I was I was a kid, so for me it was funny. It was fun because I didn't know no better mm -hmm. because I was the only one who he remembered. But I think he was trying to remember my mom, but. I think it came on me, but I was like, oh, he didn't want to deal with nobody because he was an aggressive sometimes with his dementia. Yeah, my mom, it was too good at cussing and fussing. Exactly. Yeah. Like, if she don't remember you or don't know you, she, he would fight you. He'd want to fight you. Yeah. And he was older, like 70-something. I could, I was the only one who could go and say, come on, Grandpa, come on, let's go. And he would just go with me anywhere. But nobody yeah, else could do that. Feel, feel exactly. As a kid, I, would, I loved it. Yeah. Wow. I mean... I'm telling you right now, you got to value the time you have with your loved ones, bro. Man. Mm -hmm. That's all it is to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I get mad. I don't like play, bro. Like, bro, if you disrespect, I, and I ain't going to say no name, but it's been certain people. If you say something about your mama or something like I that, can't I, I, I can't deal with that, I bro. That mess with me. Yeah, like, I'm like, hell no. It happened to make me understand. I can't understand mm -hmm. that at all. I don't care. If you could be a crackhead or anything. Nigga, you better I never disrespect her. I'm not playing with that. Yes. At all. You don't I know grew, what these women had to do. I grew up believing in that, you know. Mm -hmm. You got I, I never was too far of the daddies, but you didn't play with mama, so man. You you gotta do something for me. You gotta tell me about that la that last project with uh Big Pokey. Uh just so just down memory lane, like how was it working with him w doing that project? Easy. 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 Me and Pokey, you know. We always told each other, like he said, I'm his favorite. And I always let him know he's my favorite. Wow. So when the beat drop, that's it. It's whoever go in there first. And he don't write either? He write, but I don't know. His, I haven't seen him write, so I think he was prepared. Okay. For, for when we went in there, you know, I ain't seen him write. Mm. But uh, that dude heavy, man. I can't believe he not known as, as much as he's supposed to be, like, that dude here. Mm. What was the thing about him that inspired you the most? His lyrical content. Like, when we was young, and he dropped that hardest pit in the little, I never heard nobody out the South, like, I, on our end mm -hmm. of Texas, ever rapping with, with words, you, you know, flipping words like that. I never heard it. That nigga there, man, Pokey was just, he was like, the Rick Ross type at that era though, in mm -hmm. that time, mm -hmm. and it blew my mind. What was your favorite uh, song on that on that whole project? Do I got a favorite? Something you play over and over. I play it all the way through. That'll go. I play it all the way through. That'll go, go. Oh man. Infiltrate your noggin into the point of mind boggling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was right there. Yeah. <laughs> Hard spitting a little. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I think, I, I knew it was more. The dope corner in my jaw. Yeah. But you know what I wonder? Because, you know, sometimes, like, before he passed oh, away, wow. before he passed away, this one might have been the one that you was listening to the most. But after he passed away, there right. might be another one that might be more, that you listen to more because whether he was on that one more or because of what he said in that song. I think it was pressure. The street been talking about this pressure. Yeah, that's the uh, one after uh, Yeah, when he died. Yeah. That nonstop. Nonstop. Mm -hmm. You know, I was right around the corner. You know, we both had a show out there that day. Oh, you was right around the corner. Mm -hmm. So how did you how did you get, come to hear the, 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 that it had happened? Oh my God! On my way to Houston, they called me. Man, say, unbelievable. I I had just talked to him and told him my show is mine over before yours. I'm gonna come around now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Too. Yeah. When I got the call, it was all screaming and hollering. You know? wow. So it was happening right then and there? Yeah, at that very moment. At that very moment. Right. Dang. But then, let me ask you a question. How, um, because when we heard about it, well, he heard about it way longer before I even got up. Yes, he was asleep. But by the time I got up out of my bed, 
and I heard about it, it was all over social media. Mm, that was a bad part. How do you feel about social media and the fact that they can film that and put it all over for everybody to see? Because to me, in my head, I'm like, there's probably some family members who don't even he haven't heard about it yet. Yeah. And to see that. Yeah, I think it's the price. It, it come with it. Come with the territory. Because the only reason why I wasn't as angry with this situation because y'all was recording him performing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and he happened to die. You know right. I mean? So y'all was gonna be recording this performance. But it's still people who wouldn't have been recording at all and they see that and then they'll come out with they for. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what make this, that, that's some of the best entertainment. Yeah, I never, I wouldn't I be sure. Understand. I couldn't do it. I, Got too much respect and love for for you know for him and his family. That it, it is different when you know that it could be you. It could be anybody. Man, man. Like how would my daughter feel? How yeah. would my wife feel? Then you know you got people want to say he was on these drugs and I man, get there. That's the crazy. And keep part. in mind his wife was with him. She was there. She was there. Yeah. Ah dang. How yeah. is she handling that? Because to see that on in person is totally different. Man, I know. I know she got to be. You know, past devastated. However, the way she holding it down, you know, since she died and holding him down and holding their family down, I ain't seen too many people stronger. Wow, it's, it's mind blowing. You wow, know. wow, that's crazy. I'm, I'm just, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I like I said, I wanted to interview him. He was a, a just a talent, bro. Just a just a just dope a dude. Realist, just man. a realist, bro. I, and I, I just was like, dang, man, I, I couldn't. I couldn't fathom it, man. It, it, it's something you a leader in the in the city, bro. Like, and I I remember and and not trying to bring up old mess, but just I remember how you was vocal when when the Trey and Zero thing happened. Mm. You went you went crazy about it because I felt like you was connected to both of them and it was frustrating to you, and that's yeah. why you were speaking. I don't know, but in my mind, I be trying to figure this stuff yeah, out. Yeah, now you you in the nail on and the you head. like this everybody here pride, know. this our business. I mean, everybody in the city know. That me and Trey, you know, probably, you know, the two closest when it come to, you know, you know, but, you know, uh, I'm just, me personally, when I'm seeing, I'm so for Texas in the city, I, I came up on the Pimp C Yeah. You know what I mean? Knocking those down. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just so for us to be together. That's just, man, that was a major week for the city, too. You know what I mean? There was a lot of big things going on. And it just, you know, uh, I, I can't stand to see them at it. I couldn't, when I seen any anything like that would have shook me. But them two, I just really, uh, you know, that would be one of the best things that could happen to Houston if them two was Come able back to together. put their, Do you man, think it might be possible, though? Anything possible. Anything. I come from the bottom. I'm, you know what I mean? The bottom of the bottom. Yeah. I'm the last person that to tell you something that's impossible. Everything that's happening now was impossible. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I remember when you got, when you were being, when Slim was dissing y'all, all of y'all. I was and, and, when that was going on. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And, and, I was like, how is this going to work out? Because I know the nigga, even in his verses, I knew he had love for you. I ain't going to lie to me. I was like, this nigga had love for J-Dawg. I can't believe he even played with me. You know what I mean? But, uh, I you know, uh, we was on, truth be told, it's too, it's too, it's too much bloodline in there for anything crazy to ever happen. You know what I mean? So when you do here, you know, because we real family. Yeah. Like, your mama, it was like my Y'all had each other houses. Like, I, I get it. It's different. Your yeah. brother's my brother, your sister's Eat my sister. He got the same bowl. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, I can't believe he played with me. So you yeah. was locked up and you heard it when you you heard about it when you were locked up. Yeah, through a letter, through a cow, through a, or, because y'all, did y'all have them through little walls? Through everything. You know what I mean? They was just. Niggas talking. Niggas was talking. You know what I mean? I, I was, you know, I give I give Miss Price because he did it. I mean, you know, I ain't, you know, I just didn't think nobody was stupid enough to play with me like that. Yeah. 
And he did it, so that made me say, damn. What, it, 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 when you was in that sale, what you was thinking, like, what? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put the head out when I get out. <laughs> you, in, you in that, what the hell just happened? In my mind, I'm thinking, like, boy, I can't wait. You know? But see, this was what people don't know. Slim, I don't care what the world think about Slim now. That nigga there, man, when he was rapping, man, when we was coming up, he was the first one who switched, like showed me something different with the rap gang. Like watching him, you know what I mean? Like we were coming up, this switch out, so we already coming up knowing what beat we want to rap. The way he was ready, had his shit together, I was like, damn. <laughs> that nigga was yeah, ready, wasn't he? Was Say, up, even if you was writing, it. even if you want freestyle, was and you was writing, you wasn't writing like him. Yeah. You know I mean? He was on it, wasn't he? We was coming down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said we were coming down. Him was what I say. He was articulating that, articulating the and hell like out of it. Nobody at the city ever did. He was man say, bro. That I ain't gonna lie to you. What like I, I always he the reason, man. Listen, they might not say this right, but when you got the north side, our era, because you know we started Swiss House. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right, and them restaurant actually. When you talk about the Northside era, nothing from from all the offsprings of it to the beginning, us the beginning, man, none of it would have went nowhere if someone wasn't rapping like that. It was his rapping that basically. I don't. I ain't saying we wouldn't. We all got talent. We would. I don't know what would have happened. I'm saying reality is the way it did happen. It happened. Yeah. And that was mainly Slim Thug. That nigga was who? Wow. Man, that nigga was rapping on that boy. Man, that nigga was saying some shit that was just blowing out my eyes. <laughs> he was like, whoa. <laughs> you like this And it's 6'6 six, six tall, but I don't play ball. Rather make my fifth four foul while the other four crawl. That nigga crazy, man. Like, this nigga going ain't nobody in. rapping like this on this, you know what I mean? <laughs> this, this nigga going in. Going in, man. <laughs> Keep in mind, you got songs that, <laughs> what blew up Mike Jones, that one song? That uh, Tip It On Fo Fo? Man, I'm on that song. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing I don't know. If you talk about the yeah. beginning, if you were talking about the real song. Yeah, you was on that one. It's me, Sim Thug, Lil Mario, you know what I mean? We rapping on that, I'm a ho, you no, know I'm a ho. Yeah, boom. yeah, I love it, yeah. Yeah, so they just, what they did was, yeah, they, was, him and Magno, they took, person. they took Sim first, off of that, and then they put a real beat. Mr. Lee, just like he, he did played with that old. Put a real beat up under it, and now you got, uh, uh, who was on it? Mike Jones. Mike Jones, Pow Wow. Wild. But if you're talking about the original, you know what I mean? I'm on it. You own that old. Yeah, it's just, a, uh, we floored on it, I'm a whole beat. I mean, Slim? That say, nigga a beast. I don't care what nobody say. From the north to the south side, east to the west, Back then, that young dude blew our mind. He switched the game. He showed us, you better get serious. Because I'm finna, how, how, okay. How did you, what did you think about it? And I, because I'll, I'll interview Slim one day, but like, what did you think about it when he signed over to Pharrell and, and did that venture? Oh, that shit was good to me. In my mind, I was, I was too, uh, I'm looking at, that's Pharrell. Keep in mind, I'm coming, I'm in the penitentiary, I'm coming home seeing, I'm like, that's for real. I ain't even, you know what I mean? Everything is big to me. You know what I mean? So now if you ask me, after it done happened, I done learned to sing what I done seen. Now if you ask me, I feel like his fan base at that time. Now, I'm only saying this because now I know and everything transpired. Your fan base didn't want that. Mm. Your fan base didn't want to switch up. Mm. Now I know this, now mm -hmm. I mean, in fact, if, if you was on fire, if you wouldn't have went with Pharrell and then just got a couple beats with him and just stayed on your Texas type, that's what your fans want it. I mean, to me, this is my right. personal no, opinion. No, I, I get it, I agree. Yeah, they, they, they I just, agree. Yeah, kind of Because sweet. when I heard it, I ain't gonna lie to you, because I, like a boss and all that, I really wanted my old Slim back. Let's be real, I'm just being real. Me too. Not me. I'm, I can't talk about what everybody else say. Oh, that was good. That was good. But 
me being a real like a Texas dude. You wanted it, that. I on wanted pimp. that. I wanted that. Just like if I was listening to Pimp, and I understood when Pimp said that about Big Pimpin' and it sounding different because I was used to that underground grit. No, it was mm -hmm. two uh, boss of all bosses. Mm -hmm. It was two of them. Yeah, the first one that came out was all freestyle. Yeah, it, 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 is that? Nah, not possible. I'm thinking about the uh, his first album, but for real, it's two. I think it leaked or something. Yeah, and yeah. They came up with different songs on it. The first one. Went, it was hard to the motherfucker. Both of them was hard. Both of them was hard. You know what I mean? But he one. didn't connect to his his main fan base. But of course, shit. <laughs> Just think about it. You, you young, you slim. You come in the game, you hot. If for real giving you advice, man, I think you ought to go this way. Who gonna say nah? I, I think no. I think I'd stay in this lane. No, I could say that I didn't. I wasn't on it like I wanted that other, but I understood why he did what he done. Yeah, me too. I understood the bigger picture. Yeah. But now, as far as just the slim that I love. Yeah, if you ask me my personal, I wish he would have stayed on that Texas shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know I mean, but like I say, man, you had people in his ear. You, you remember on that CD, he had Dre on that mug? Yeah. <laughs> That's different. You had Dr. Dre on this. You know what I mean? Like, hey, man, we coming from. The bottom of the north, that dirty north side of Houston, too. man, you got for real and draining them on your shit. Blew my mind. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm gonna be real, man. Like, like that whole time, man. Like, I'm gonna be real. I, I love Slim, bro. Anyway, the music he done, even to this day, Slim gonna give us something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I ain't gonna lie, look, Kiki dropping them damn projects mm -hmm. like a damn, like he got a label behind him. Look, cute. Yeah. Look cute <laughs> that nigga beast. But I'm loving it, I'm loving I'm it, loving it too. Like, like this nigga moving like. Keep been doing it. Yeah, yeah, but it's, you know it's, 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 it's something to see it now when everybody's so, I'm, I'm independent, I'm this, I'm that. For him to still be able to maneuver it like that. Still rapping in your fan base. That's right. And like we hearing you on here to switch up to your style. No, no, you no. Still rapping in your fan base. Yeah, I'm loving Kiki doing the audio book. That blew my mind more than Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, okay. Go ahead. I, what oh, is she your... wanted a question. She's like, get back. <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve about the music industry today? Uh... I got so many. <laughs> Narrow it down. You can do two. I, I say, man, that's a good question. The main one probably is the way they can, and I ain't, I ain't no hater. I mean, but now you can avoid the shoulder rubs and the handshakes and, and just the getting connected with your fan base and your people. You can avoid all this, not just how for, Social media. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, nowadays, uh, you know, to me, it's just, it, it, it took away from... The personal Yeah, connection. the connection for you learning, you know, even even when giving back. A lot of people don't even, you know what I mean? You know, they just, they'll get on the camera and just see a bomb and, and they, you know, but it's, 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 it's a way you can give back to the same culture and keep this flourish, you know what I mean? But you don't know none of the history. Right now, I'll guarantee you most of the young artists in Dallas, they're not trying to go get no verse from DeRoe or trying to, you know, mess with Dunn, Chief, and, you know, I don't understand why. Yeah. But it's it's, it's, it's something happening with, 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 where it's a separation with us. And I think it got a lot to do with the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know it got a lot. It, yeah, that is your issue. A lot of times it was watered down. A lot of times the essence, the essence of what we do is kind of, even like the writer's strike right now in Hollywood. Like, it's a lot going on when you're dealing with it. Even the music, when it first happened, you had Napster and all that stuff. All this stuff just pretty much took away from the essence of who we are, bro, and what yeah, we do. Yeah, That's is. what you're really seeing. Yeah, man. It was a time, man, them DJ conventions, the artists and the DJs connected. Like we used to go to the conventions, and you know, nowadays you got these artists that don't even see the importance of of a DJ. Don't even see the importance of a, you know what I mean, a, a interview with 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 the, you know, they they won't even do them. You know what I mean? You got some niggas who will say to their fans nowadays, I don't take pictures. And, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, you know, I I really think like like. It, it, it's something to where 
if you maneuver it correctly, that's why I was talking about little Kiki. If you put it in the right way to where you make them respect it, and it's hard to keep it from because once you put it on YouTube, or once you, it ain't gonna share it everywhere. It ain't like like I was really upset with with Houston because they start being like everybody else. They had the screw tape and they had the regular tape when this was going on and they was trying to be like some. I was really upset about that, bro. Me too. I'm being real. I'm, I seen that. Nigga, I'm watching. I'm a hustler. So I'm looking at the double up, the bump, bop, bop. But I'm looking at like, damn, like it seemed like they was ready to get away from it trying to be like the, you know, every masses yeah, instead, of, yeah. instead of holding true to what they were doing because they were killing the game. We got our own lanes. Man. Yeah, yeah. This is like Texas. We have our own legends. We have our own, you know, thing, you know. And I hate that uh, a lot of these people right now in the game, I, I hate the fact that they are right with separating the artists. It, it's like more beneficial to them or something to have them separated, you know, even with, with the drill. Yeah, scene. yeah, 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 yeah. You get signed quick if you... Start really, doing that. Man, mm -hmm. all you gotta do is really kill somebody. And then they'll come get you. Shit. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? If you really, if if, they, if you really drill it, and they find out, and you get your interview on No Jumper, and they know that you really did, <laughs> your ass gonna be signed. Damn. Yeah, man. And that's sad because, and you said No Jumper, and, the reason, and really sad when you say that, because they gonna jump on there with people. But they with, believe if y'all say this is a real driller, it's true. it's true. They feel like y'all did your research, academics. Yeah. Oh, this nigga is a real kid. Oh, yeah, he did. It's true. He gonna get a deal from any major label. That's crazy. I want to ask you about uh, <laughs> Nipsey, man. Did you have some? I want to ask you about Nipsey Hustle, man. Uh, That's my he tweeted brother. about you. That's my brother, bro. I mean, like, like, how big was that? Like, and then I know you did the prayer, you know, when he passed away, but just that tweet and just the way y'all intermingle, what was that? How was that? What is Mind that? Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Give me some me big details. Nip, I'm gonna tell you how, what make it even more crazy. I wouldn't know Nipsey if it wasn't for Mug. Really? Yeah, they went to elementary together. Mug stayed on Slauson, you know, Mug and, and Nip went to elementary school together. Okay. I didn't even know that. Yeah, you know, uh, Mug daddy was in the service, so when he base to base, they, yeah. They, they linked up. Yeah, he was out there. So when when Nip was coming up, we was coming up together. You know, so we ended up getting real, real, real close. And when, when I seen that, like right now, and that's another thing about this gift God gave me, it bothered me sometimes because I see things so clear. Yeah. Like it's like a movie in my head. So I just seen him just when I looked over there and it just gave shit. But yeah. It's crazy like that. When I seen him get killed like that, I knew that we under attack. Yeah, I knew it. Man, I, I kicked him in the face and everything. Yeah, after he get shot, you know, that that was crazy, man. I took my wife over there, not after he passed away, not when they were putting all that stuff in the parking lot. We went over there before that. We would go frequent that shop because we have a shop. This shop been here for a long time. Mm -hmm. So him being a person who own a business, and on that see, block, yeah, I yeah. want to see my kids working here. So I went and seen his family, his daddy working there, Black Sam in there. I go over there. Mm. My brother, one made me go. He's like, man, Nipsey doing some stuff over there like you. You know, I'm like, yeah, I see the little nigga. I met him in Vegas, me and him talk. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, I talked that talk. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm just who I am, bro. I was like, nigga, you ain't been working. You know what I'm saying? On the music. Mm -hmm. I was messing with him. He was like, you going to see, you going to see. He was there trying to get the marathon ready. Then it's like 2010. 2010. Yeah, he stayed on my ass. He was working on that. On, and then showed me, though. He brought, because when I went over to his shop, I was so impressed with the way he mm -hmm. laid it out. It was beautiful in there, oh, man. Oh, you got a hell of a business. I still got the pictures on the on my phone that, like, I never took them off. Like, when I was going, when he was first setting up. And he got a hell of a business mind. I remember when he told me, man, he was like, man, I can't wait to get 5000 to show. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had just performed at House of Blues. And we went to uh, IHOP. And he asked me how much I was getting at that time of show. I was like, five racks. He said, that's all I don't make now. He said, it's over. <laughs> Say, well, like, and, and he, he blew past that. I think if I was getting 60, 70 for Exactly. Wow. But I'm saying he. But at that time, that's how. That's how I don't make now. 
And y'all had some hell of a conversation then if y'all were talking about that. He was uh, just. Oh, yeah, man. That man, you stay on my ass. Last thing I remember him telling me over the phone, he was like, man, this is us. It's all for us. He, he was saying, like, I'm here now. I'm what we want to be. And he was like, man, they lying to us. This is all for us. This is our shit. I mean, that's what he was telling me. Wow. He was but I'm know. knowing what he was saying from our conversation, just knowing, you know, I'm knowing he was saying what he thought, what I think, how, it, how it's going to be and how it look up there. Like, we going to be out of place. Yeah. He was letting me know now. We the ones supposed to be here. That's you know hard, I mean? man. That's hard. And, and for you and him to... But you and him to have a relationship where he felt that comfortable to pick up that phone and call you and talk to you about different things, yeah. really about re insight is yeah, really what you what, what you say is insight. That's how we talked about. That's hard, man. We well, shared, shared that knowledge with each other. That's how we talked about. It. We talked. He was telling me about uh, when he started eating right now. A little oh shit. yeah, with Doctor Savi. Yeah, he told me when he quit sipping, sir. He was so happy. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest accomplishment to date? My kids. How many you have? Three. Three. Well, I got four. My daughter in heaven. Oh, uh, bless her soul. Yeah. How old was she when she passed? When she came into the world. Oh, okay, complications. Yeah. Mm. Feel like she was here forever though. Wow. Just seeing like she was, you know. You see, that's why I tell people all the time when I talk about, and this is something I came up with myself during COVID, but I tell people um, when you're born in this, in this world, you're born at a job, right? And you got to do God's bid. And whenever you're done, he'll take you away. That's how I look on death. Mm. So n that has no age. So when a baby, people say, how can you say that? Because a baby who have never been born, still birth, come out from a mom, how have they done anything? You I don't said, know job. you don't know their job. That's they real. probably could have touched, the mama life could have changed, the daddy life could have changed, the nurse's life could have changed, friends who've seen that mama carry that baby change her life. You know what all I mean? All that through that one All child. of that through that one child. And I've always said that, you know, because people always come back. Anytime you're talking about God and trying to inspire people, mm -hmm. they come back. So what about this? What about that? Because people are so uh, engulfed in their rage and hatred because oh, of yeah. because of something that they asked God for and he didn't deliver it. So I all, remember being mad at God a lot too in my life until I realized, you know, um, I just, I, I know, I know God real. I, I'm talking about when I say that, I don't say that lightly. Like, like uh, I, I think I was one of the people who had to be proved to. You know, I don't think I'd still be strong with God like I am now if I didn't know, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't even believe no more. I don't even have to. Like, I know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, I don't even have no, you know, I have no reason believing. You know, I know for a fact. Man, um, oh, serious. man, God is just so real, man. Like I, I know because I'm still here, mm -hmm. and there's so many people, the people we've been naming, uh, that that that's gone. But you know already, you were left here for a legacy to try. You know, especially with your kids, that's a big deal right there. When because your kids see a reflection, of, you see your kids in you, and they see you in themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't even realize it's subconsciously happening. They don't even think about it. It happens seamlessly. You see what I'm saying? So that's the part right there where. I be trying to tap into to give me the strength I need to keep going. Yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying? That part right there make me push all the other problems I caught so-called have out the way. I don't yeah. even think about me no more when I look at my 15-year-old son, when I think about my 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 30-year-old son, when I think about my daughter that said brown. Like those are the things that make me keep going is tapping into that place where it ain't about me no more. Yeah. I, and for me to still be here? Yeah, I've been at that place, but it ain't about me at all. Man. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feel, sometimes it can feel selfish to yourself. You know, yeah. but it is what it is, man. That's my reality. What's the last no skip album that you have ever listened to? Good question. The last one. Mm-hmm. You didn't skip not one song. What's the last one? Been that long? I, yeah. <laughs> the last one, I don't want to be mistaken, man. I'm thinking it's American Gangster soundtrack. 
Mm. Wow. That's a while. That's a long time ago. Yeah, but uh, we ain't, we ain't did uh. I used to jam the fix straight through. But yeah. why have there not been any lately? Is it that people not making good music like I that? Th- I don't think. I I think they thinking s- smart for them and business for them, and and, and if they thinking about their business, I don't think they feel like they had to. But no, I I'm 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 uh, not against this new era. You're not at all, no kind of way. I'm an OG, and I honestly believe that my only job is for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this is what I will say. I can't stand to hear people in my era. You know what I mean? Feel like if they're going to drop some music, now that they got to sound like now. Yeah. I can't stand it. This ain't me judging. This ain't no competition talk. This just like, you know what I mean? If I already know you and I know your music, that's what I'm expecting to hear. Some of this, you know what I mean? So, Not hard, does it? in my mind, yeah. the best thing going on in this era of the me is the money ain't went down. That's real. These little dudes is running the numbers up. Whether we like it, whether we don't like their music, they not messing up the game. Mm. From the from the business point. However, I don't know what this is gonna do later on. Because <laughs> you don't know. You're not learning nothing. Let me ask you something. Well, I you remember I know you know you remember back tripping and I don't wanna go back. Like you did like oh, compilations, man. like 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 those was like are we ever gonna get something like that from you ever again? Hell yeah. I you got, see what I'm saying? Like these are stories. I got, these so, are, much, I got so much of that, you know what I mean? I just um uh, Man, all I know is this sad, right? Man, all I know is pain. Like, I, man, this all my people did, man. All my people, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, uh, when it come to hearing music like that, my passion like that, I don't even know how to talk about nothing else but my story when the beat drop. Y'all got... Y'all got some shit coming y'all way, man. Man, I can't wait, to be honest with you. I, I love it, um, you know, and, and to be real. This nigga relentless, too, so. Oh, yeah. Make, yeah, make sure you focus this in from because I'm just saying. He's so talking. relentless. It might be an album tomorrow, Joe. <laughs> nah, we, we about to get into you with something she said down. Never too much. Never too much. Because I'll put more in there if you want it. Hey, he damn near thought, man, I, was, I thought I was slipping. Mm, yeah, but. <laughs> he say, see? Y'all run the lip. I say, look, we getting there. Don't worry about it. We straight. Everything gonna be all right. Make sure we, we focus get there. In. I um, been I'm figuring everything out. We gonna yeah, get together. Yeah, yeah. But I just, like I said, you, you got, yeah, you, you something different. You know what I'm saying? And you know, one thing good about the internet is you can be anywhere at any time. Once you drop something, you drop it in the right way. If it hit, it can hit somewhere in Europe, and you don't even know why. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the that's I think it that's got the his bonuses. Yeah, it's got, got his bonuses where we didn't have that opportunity. We see, had to go through somebody to make that kind yeah, of see, stuff. See, this is the thing with J Dog though. See, this is what I like to call oh, what you. we starting out right now. This is like the 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 second leg, third leg of his career. You know what I'm saying? He don't have a big body of work just yet. Battery. J Dog got behind behind tent one, behind tent two. Features here, you know, uh, mixtapes here, stuff like that. But the man is uh, really in his prime of his career. Everybody still want him. Everybody. Yeah. You know, I uh, had 39 calls for features in three days. And these are all the younger ones. So I want to touch back on what y'all were saying earlier. When y'all were saying the, uh, the, the, young, the, the youth not really tapping in with the OGs. Oh, they Shit. <laughs> yeah, no. Everybody and, and, that we dealing with, you know, they coming from Jackson, Mississippi. They coming from Florida, Louisiana. Of course, right there at home. Yeah, you know what I mean? of course. So they tapping in. And I, and I knew that. You know, I I, I kind of I know that for some of the you know the ones like like him, Kiki. I ain't gonna lie to you. Certain ones that they stapled. It, it, you legends, bro. Slim too, if he want to be. I don't know how much he connect with others now, cause he just seemed like to me he in his own world right now, and it looks good for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, he, he, like he, he figured like, it like out. He said, you know, since 16, he figured it out. 
full head running and ain't stopped no. one bit. No. Ain't slowed yeah, down whatever one he, bit. Whatever he man, figured grind, out, man. whatever he figured out, man, it worked for him. It, he figured it out. And I think that's the whole game. But then also, the the internet makes it to where it's not too late for anybody. If you, you guys, man, like people like you, man, ain't no telling what you could do. And at the end of the day, the internet, it also brings up a thing where people get to see you more like now, and if you figure that part out. I mean, I got people like Country Wayne and these people that's telling me they making $480,000 a month just off internet, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, just off the, that ain't even, that ain't even, that ain't, they don't even do music. They still starving. Did you hear what I just said? They don't even do music just yeah. to see a day in the life, a, a, a J-Dog could cause havoc on the internet. Oh, I'm putting everything together. Do you see what I'm saying? They don't see it. If they see it, you remember when them little old uh, uh, you CDs and shit? Me. Yeah, you could see. You were like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm the same way. And it's crazy because I, I ain't I ain't no youngster like that. You know what I mean? But I, sometimes I be wanting to see it too. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I understand them, man. Nowadays, nowadays, that internet do got a lot of bonuses. You know, I seen a little dude. What was his name? Yachty? Yeah, 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 yeah. I seen the interview. He said he never knew or, or heard a pop. I remember that. Damn sure did. Like, but he but but then he said He was that. telling his truth though. Yeah. And I was like, get the fuck out of here, man. How do you not know a pot? But he was telling the truth. Man. Yeah, so I gotta ask you and, and, and I know you here now, but I gotta ask you about um just Pimp C because I said I'm gonna go back to that, man. Like oh, gee. Like, let's talk about that. Like give me so I need everybody give me a Pimp C story in here. You know what I'm saying? Man, I gotta hear like like you 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 mentioned knocking those down earlier. I was like, man, I wish I get J Dog to go off on that knocking those down beat one time. That'll be hard, nigga. I'll be over thinking. Yeah, that nigga hard. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, That'll be hard, nigga. But but like, well, how did you feel when you heard that and and knew what he was trying to do, or did you think like that lame or what? Man, when I first heard the song, I was laughing hard to the motherfucker. You know what I mean, cause you know. Um, that was bold. That was some bold statements he was saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? And a part of me being rebellious, coming from the bricks, I was like, who the fuck he think he talking to? <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, yeah. when he say Slim, Slim Thug is zero, y'all still. bullshit. <laughs> what he say? What he say, J-Lo? Yeah. What he say, what he say, J -Lo? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> like they were about two years old. See, two, yeah. two, 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 but, but, two. To begin, <laughs> Pow Wow and the cool still ain't talking. About to speak, only you and shit keep walking, nigga. Y'all niggas need the game fucked up. up. <laughs> All your record company niggas need to shut the fuck up. I'm <laughs> yeah, that bullshit yeah. rapping. Yeah. White people looking at us, that's, that's what happened. Yeah, Saying we long as we well, figured out, long as we stay the body, they gonna run the side. And he's telling the truth on that hoe. When I first heard it, I couldn't believe my, my ears. I what you say? What this nigga doing, man? I'm like, Pimp C, you better chill out. These <laughs> y'all niggas gonna come see you. Yeah, man, but then I was like, man, ain't you not even from Houston? <laughs> and you got personal. Man, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's wow. when it hit my head. I was like, why nobody from Houston with a voice did this? That's hard. Now, that's something to think about. Then it flipped. I was like, this is the most amazing shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> But you got the nuts to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We ain't never looked at Pimp C like no gangster. No, no. Coming up, uh -uh, you know what I mean? Uh -uh. We looked at him like the player. The, the player, yeah, Pimp yeah, type. Pimp. When he did that at first, I was like, me being just ignorant, I was thinking like, who the fuck he think he talking to? <laughs> and then later I was like, that's amazing. You took. You had to be the hottest thing going when you was free. Everybody was Pimpsy Home. Pimpsy Home. Yeah. The the free free Pimpsy campaign might be the biggest free somebody campaign we ever seen. That's real. And you know, and it was probably the first one you ever seen. That, that's real. And you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So when he came home, the momentum and all that, to direct that to fixing Houston problem, that was that's hard. when I started looking at that scenario. And I was like, wow, this nigga amazing. And it can happen. Like, this nigga did this. 
And then you see them niggas get together. They ain't had no choice. You see them niggas start coming man, together. Man, say they ain't had no choice, man. I see the picture. You remember the picture? You remember the picture? You remember the picture? All of them standing in the, the, in the, in the, in the Yeah, yeah, at the ranch. Man, I said, say, look at this. When look I seen that, I say, damn, pimp. You really ahead of your time. Because Pimp C is like one of my favorite pe- person personalities, period. But but I be so, I be, when I'm riding Germany, I be so high, and he funny than a bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> that nigga say, that nigga say, man, <laughs> nobody make me laugh harder than Pimp C. <laughs> that nigga say, uh, like some corn or a barbecue real. Yeah. <laughs> You gonna say a barbecue nigga? Yeah, you know, ain't finish it, man. It's just like the nigga you say, but it's like with with him, he's so authentic, man. You know I mean, one of one of the rash moments with me and him that I remember is him on uh, the way you talk to me on the phone. Okay, it's like uh, I ain't never been talked to. What what he say? It's like you don't get to come and say back. You just it's a one way to discuss yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> he just talking to me. He gonna give Man, you everything you need to tell him. Even with the riding on phones, he loved it so much. Look how he told me. He said, I'm gonna tell you what you need to do, though. You need to put me and Bun B on that bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's how. It, yeah, and he had it on his mind. I was like, Man, I ain't get a chance to tell him that's what I want. He don't, that's listen. Hard. He, like, he don't listen. He was just telling you. He just talked. Mm-hmm. And you was like, okay, okay. You just listen to that. Man, that man was having a conversation with me one time, and out the blue, he flipped the whole conversation. And he was like, yeah, Master P, they, they pistol with me. You know I mean? <laughs> oh, shit. We ain't, we you ain't talking, even talking about, about that. He wasn't talking about nothing about that. But, but he brought it up. Fuck me up, man. He messed your head up. What did you say? You just listen. You just listen. Every time I'd have never tried to say words with, with Pimp, it been cut off. So, so you was just every listening time. to it. Every time. What man. did he say after he said that? He just said that and left it alone? Went back to the first. And went right back, but he threw that in there. He said, yeah, they, they did that. You know what I mean? And he went back to the whole new. Like it wasn't, it, it happened, but now I'm over here with it. Yeah, damn that's, that's like, But it tells you how his mind was. He wasn't anybody, sitting there on it. Anybody who does that, they they don't they're not a one track mind person. They're everywhere they all at once. That's how Pac was. Mm-hmm. I, a lot of people told me that's how Pac was. You know, badass. Yeah. Came out here and stayed with me for a little while. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. Just on uh, he. I don't know if y'all ever heard of an artist out of the city called Duke Gutter. No, I ain't heard of Duke Gutter. Where he from? Third Ward. Third Ward. Yeah, he a street legend. And he a rapper too, you know what I mean? But that's his cousin. Mm. And you know, he ended up bringing him to my studio. Wow. And, and you know, I'm anybody who connect Pac, I want stories. You got, you got to hear like, it, you got to hear it. Tell, tell me, about tell it. me you one of the stories that you heard from him. It, it, it damn near like Pimp C story. That's how they talk about him. Like he all over the place. One minute he'll be doing this, next minute he'll be doing that. One minute he damn near about to cry, next minute he. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? It's just, just damn near like Pimp. In today's society, they call that bipolar. Man, <laughs> how how would when when you think about pimp and I ask these questions all the time before it's just producing like, uh, what was one of the songs that when you listen to it you're like, damn, he put that together right. One day you hear that whole go my hard, favorite song. It, bro. I can't believe he did. my bro, favorite song. I didn't talk to Run and Spence. I didn't talk yeah, to that whole. Yeah, I didn't talk saying. to all of them. Now I talked to Bun. I don't know. I didn't talk to his three two and pimp. Mm-hmm. But boy, hey, Man, that song know, is so cold. Do you know going up jamming pimp? I had to be at least damn near 20 or my late teens for sure when I realized that he was singing the beat, uh, the choruses, doing the beats and that rap. That, I didn't wow. even know that was that nigga on them yeah, beats. Yeah, yeah. When I seen it with my own eyes, that shook me. I couldn't believe it. Multi-talented. I was even locked up with Pimp, you know what I mean? Really? But we was in separate cells, you but know But you were on the terror unit? No, or was it in the county? Sent out county? Okay, he was in the county yeah. with him. Yeah, he got sent out before me. When that boy said, uh, you lost your spot when you went pop, <laughs> CD flop, you, you ain't hot. Hey. The game been good, good to me. me. <laughs> nah, when he did that work, coming up, matter of fact, this crazy. When I had got married, I'm divorced now. When I got married, that's the song I got married to. Which one? Can't let nobody hold me. You done, 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 ever hold me. And I'm coming down. You are, how you get married? You just remember that at the. Or you That's what I'm told I was going to get married to. That's my. Got the hell that one. I don't know. 
It ain't got no words to do with nothing. Nothing. Else, but it's just, <laughs> man, that was my shit. That's that, that Luther Vandross remix. Yeah, 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 yeah. You remix man. that old man. You remember that? You know, I'm an older cat. I'm thinking Pimp. about where it come from. Pimp that nigga redone the, it. Is the king of redoing. Damn, now all the things he done, he redo, took it from some old school. People don't know it. He yeah, king yeah, of, yeah. That nigga what, Pimp tell me magic. something good. Man, when I first heard that nigga. Tell me something good. Woo, that nigga. One with his a voice, trigger, his when it voice. was it was slowed down. It wasn't like I told Bun that in the interview. I said it wasn't like, and that ain't came out yet. But I told him I say that first initial one. It was I don't know if the the cassette was going slow, but that hoe was slow. Like it was like one with a trigger, two with a back. It was like slower. The now it's faster when you look at it. He like that ain't the rhythm first. I know it ain't nigga because I remember what I heard yeah, that day. Up, yeah, they sped that hoe up, I man. I think they think they thought it was gonna be a radio. That hoe hit hard, boy. God, that dang but thing. Pimp, he did diamonds up against the wood. Ooh. He did that beat. He did uh Diamonds up against that wood. That nigga was singing that whole wasn't he? What's that song <laughs> on Drop? What's the song he did when he first came home? It's on Pimpolation. Yeah. It gotta be. Damn, Which man. one was it? That beat was so cool. I think he got so much shit. I mean, I want to be free. I buried nothing. And when I'm buried, buried the nigga getting high, he's a doom, 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 doom. That old was going so. That old was going hard. That old was going hard, bro. I can't believe Pimp C, even to this day, bro. I can't believe you were singing all that, man, and you were doing all them beats. It's just like, even to this day. You, ain't nobody else do that do that like that, Never bro. seen them. You'll never see it again. It's, it's different, bro. That nigga was doing that. And ain't nobody else done That's why he my number one of all time. Yeah, he my number one. I ain't gonna lie. One. Like, even, I, I love Pac. Don't get it twisted. But when people come on this, they already know him. But to tell them, pimp, the pimp thing, it shut the whole, that's the whole show. Really? Yeah, like C, that man. without that, this show, I told Bun that. This show wouldn't even been work it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, pimp. Because I'm in tech and I love the nigga. That mm -hmm. and, and that's why Bobo came through that why all this stuff happened. Steve B. Lowe's, all the stuff, all the people, Mr. Lee, all that was me trying to uh KLC getting them pimp stores. That's all I was doing. You <laughs> every nigga the new pimp. I'm on the hey man, let me get this hey, nigga over here. I've been, yeah. been to all our stores down there consistently. All of them. Yeah. Mike Jones. Uh -huh. Man, I was down there doing that uh what was that pulling up and uh, my Bentley, I mean yeah he, the car he had a car wreck like all these stories. I put all the most together. That's boss talk. Man that you know what I'm saying? That nigga, that nigga I, is so crazy in his house, right? You gotta go to sleep at a certain time. When, like when he go to I sleep, heard that Everybody go to sleep. <laughs> wow. And I never I, got to meet him, you know, but... Uh, he don't, the TV's going to go out. He going to cut it. That's what old the folks do. Lights go out. Everything go out. Yeah. And it's crazy. Bro, that's... No, nah, that's grandma. Grandma yeah. do it like that. Think about it. You yeah. go over grandma house, she shut it down. Mm -hmm. All the way down. Pimp is a real dude, man. I ain't yeah. lying. It's a lot of... He got a lot of ways that'll make people question it. I guarantee you, if they keep questioning, they're going to come back to the same conclusion. Man, you know, a lot of people talk about the Jay-Z and all of the stuff he said. I just had Toe Down on here. He said some stuff. I was like, what? He was like, man, Pimp said this. I say, what the hell? Like, what my boy Toe Down at? He was just on here. He just Today? left. No, no uh, last, last week. week. Yeah. Man, he came down to see me. So long, Them boys still working. Them boys, you know, they, they it's yeah. in here. Them boys going to get to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so down, <laughs> I was real close with the manager, uh, road manager, uh, Mike Mo. Okay, you know okay. You and Mike Mo close. close. rocking about 15 years. Strong, okay. You, you know? talking about Corey Moore and Mike Moe? Yeah. 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 That, that's how you and him, that's yeah, how you knew yeah. Pimp. Well, I didn't meet Pimp. Mike. But every time I was in the studio, that's all you know, Mike Mo talked about. Mike yeah. moved to Atlanta or was that Corey? That's Corey moved to Atlanta. Corey moved to Atlanta. Yeah. I talked to him on the phone one day. Yeah. He supposed to be coming Corey on Boss Talk. I don't know if he's going to come. What's up to Mike the other day? And uh, I've been trying to get Corey. I need to call Corey. I'm trying to get one of the Pimp C store. I don't need but one. Give me one, nigga. Uh, you <laughs> gonna, <laughs> nah, you, you gonna need a whole I day know, with I'm Mike Moe. You, know you gonna need a whole day with Mike Moe. They got some yeah. Man, so J Dog, man, like, like, what, what's next, man? Like these projects. I know your manager. You got new management now. That's what we mm -hmm. doing. Like, so, so, how long you guys know each other? Y'all knew each other already? Yeah, I mean, like, we got connection. Through bloodlines, it's like I will, I will, we mess with the same people. I'll okay. Just, I will be the same. And, that, and it fits. Yeah, it fits. You know, like me and, me and Watts, you know, been rocking for about 
about 15 plus Michael years. Watts. Yeah, Michael Watts. Shout out. Shout know. out, Michael Watts. And me and Watts been hip to hip for about the last, you know, together about 15, 16 years, you know. And we've been promoting, you know, just all over the place. You know what I mean? That's what I was doing. Well, artists at first, you know, early on. But I always had the business mind. You know, I yeah. was always in the business mind. Yeah. You know? And me and Watts, you know, uh, like I said, about 15 years strong, you know, just promoting every weekend all over the place. Well what made you, know? you what, what what made you link with J Dog though? Like like what was the what was well, the thing you that you know, um you know, J Dog was like he needs some he needs some solid management, you know. You yeah. know, somebody like he said, I'm relentless. He know, you know what I mean? Just all the time I'm gonna keep him on task. Yeah. Whether he like it or not, I'm gonna yeah. keep him on task. That's what you need. You know what I mean? A pull up. You know, I'm yeah. waiting for the cuss right. out one day. You, you know, know where I'm coming from. I am waiting for the cuss out one day. <laughs> <laughs> You know? Nigga, they pulled me up, man. Hey, yo, I get on top of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You talking that talk, man? Right? Yeah. <laughs> 10, 15 texts a day, well, thirty calls a day. <laughs> I'm messing with you. No, pull up. No, they don't know. That's me and you, man. You don't know pull up. You talking? You talking about Granny pull you? No, up? no, okay. no. Pull up. No, yeah. we used to. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is when you going through. Uh, yeah, you got to get up, up to the man. program. Yeah. That's that TC program. Yeah, that TC, man. That's the TC. I went to that therapeutic community, man. I hit it with it. Send them props. That's boss talk. Yeah. Send me your props right Thank you. I get on top of that. Yeah, that's just it. That's it. Yeah. No, yeah. so yeah, I, I I thank God for it, man. So y'all 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 getting down tonight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, it, it, how is it when you come to Dallas and perform? What what do Dallas do home. for you? Now, I, this this is your second home, a third home. This is your yeah, third home. Yeah. Like like, how is it like when you perform in Dallas and just the love you get out of Dallas? Same way. They love you. Yeah, I love Dallas. Dallas love me, man. Bro, would you? When I went interviewed ESG at the hospital when he got his leg taken off, my, 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 my. bro, I went to the hospital. I was actually on the way to Dallas. Did you see? Did you you see my interview? No, man. Yeah, I did the interview at the hospital. Uh, he called me. I was on actually interviewing here, and he called me and said, e, "You got to come down here because you know I got love. You know how I am, mm -hmm. like nigga. What you know? You know, Big Tony. We all we all mm -hmm. rocking, rocking, like rocking, rocking. Mm -hmm. And like, man, you got to come down here. So I went down there, me and my wife, and uh, did the interview. And he told me, you know, that that he go through things, bro. Like people don't realize, man. He talks about and and I know people like, oh, well, he on this or he on that. He talks about triggers that certain things trigger him. And mentally, he go back to that place of when he was doing whatever. I'm being honest. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think he, he told me something similar. That's what he told me. He said he, he, say he get triggered. So, and I'm, I'm like, and you can relate to this. I seen niggas were locked up that never got over smoking wet, bro. That mind, they mind. I also a lot. It never came back. Yeah, I know it. And that's the scary part about it. like I'm glad it mine came back. came back right, yeah, man. But you see where I'm coming from though, right? Like man, that shit, there, bro. Like you seen niggas in there that didn't even know why they was there, bro. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen this with my you own know, eyes. I'm talking about you got to tell them everything. Like what you here for? This I'm talking about. They've been in there that's for, for real. a year and don't know nothing. Yeah, that was, that was the first time I seen stuck. Stop. You know and, yeah. and Larry Gist, they jail. That's the first time I ever seen it, you know? Yeah. You know, Literally don't stuck. know what they in jail for. Don't know. You walking around. You got around. to read their time sheet out to them and shit. Yeah. But you know what? It was him. This one particular cat, when you stop and talk to him, like, he, if you leave him by himself, he out there. But when you stop and have a conversation with him, he looks perfectly fine. But it's just when he's walking around. When he, when he I seen to that himself. too. He start talking. Yeah, but when you talk to him, he's he perfectly yeah. fine. You know? I've seen, man, you coming out on the biggest crackhead in the world. In four months, you waved up six packs. Nigga, you believe the nigga was in the world doing things. And yeah. the nigga got you convinced because mama keeping money on the books. <laughs> yeah. So you try and figure out like this nigga, but then you see one of the niggas like, man, that nigga, that nigga on that. Yeah. Yeah. Water, Somebody gonna come in and let you know. <laughs> nigga ain't woke up yet on that water. That's crazy. But I, I, just, I just know that you know, when you think about just being a, a, a person who done been through that and then his legacy, I'm going to be honest with you, I'll say this about ESG because I love him. Um, like, people don't realize, man, a lot of people might talk down or say this or that, but that nigga fans love that nigga, bro. Mm, shit, I'm not shit. playing, bro. And I'm going to tell you something yeah, yeah. niggas don't like to say. Man, I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm listen, swinging, swinging and banging, might have I might have heard that earlier than everything. Hell I'm yeah. an old nigga, man. 
You heard I, I'm gonna man, say it. Listen, man. You heard what I just said? When Ocean of Funk came out, I wasn't hearing nothing else like that, bro. 293. I wasn't hearing nothing else like that. When Ocean of Funk came out, that shit was so yeah. crazy. Man. Now you say 91, 92. See, this is where, I, where I'll be killing niggas at right here. In 91 and 92, I wouldn't, you know how everybody be like the Chronic album and all that? Mm -hmm. I wasn't really on that stuff like that. I was so caught up in my people. That yeah. swinging and banging, that ocean yeah. of funk. Mm -hmm. I wasn't listening to that a lot. Well, I no, put it in the right deck with it. 19 fucking 93, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm, saying, but I'm just saying, like, it'll be in the deck with it. Mr. Mike was, I mean, Big Mike was out there. the one, but. But I'm saying, I would own it. See, if, it, if you, the only way I knew New York music, and it's crazy, California music and all that, Screw used to put him on his CDs when he chopped them. He'll put it on there. Yeah, so I wouldn't even know them niggas if it weren't for That's what I'm saying. And niggas be trying to talk me out of that right now on this show. I be like, nigga, I'm telling you, I was there. I wasn't, I was listening at this. I was on this and this is all I That's was all doing. I was on, cause they sound like me. I ain't, I wasn't tripping. What you think about the music now when you hear, now that everybody got a rap pattern the same way? I don't, li I really don't, I'm gonna be honest with you. I listen to a lot of old stuff, bro. I listen to a little new, if I, I'm gonna tell you, I like, if I talk about new who's I like, you know who I like. Oh, I don't remember his name, but I know young, who Not Young him. Dolph, the other little, the little nigga that be with Young Mom, Dolph. So What's that little nigga? Man. The little, little slim nigga that's living, that was signed to Dolph. Key Glock. Key Glock. Key Glock. Yeah, you know I would listen Glock. to, Key, that was it. I ain't yeah. heard nothing with Key Glock. I'm just telling you, that's all I would, I'd rock that Key Glock. Yeah. But it, it, you know I'm telling the truth, but other than that, like I wasn't really, yeah. I don't know what it was something about him, but now other than that, I'm back over there with you or listen at that that Pimp C or that face or you know I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, you know, I'm feeling bad huh? sometimes. Pimp majority of the time. Majority of the time. It's just so yeah. many options. You know, yeah, I feel bad so sometimes because I be wanting to make sure that I get in my ear. You know what I mean? But a bunch of that man is like, I'm like some of the female rappers more. It's like they could, they get on there and spit some real concepts. And the niggas on this singing like singing, like, singing yeah. But I think I think you doing the right thing though. Just being, you know, you being a bridge still, just connecting with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause yeah. you gonna get on that hoe and rock it how you rock it, and they know what they getting. Mm -hmm. They already know what they getting. So when mm -hmm. they call, they like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Whether whatever they doing, they know what you about to do, mm -hmm. and they love it. Else they wouldn't even be reaching out, like you was just saying earlier. Uh, but what is it? I'm oh, sorry, I did I cut you off because I no, cut a nigga no, off. Saying, I'm wrong. The, the comments the nigga be saying, yeah. man, you be cutting niggas off. I said, nigga, I'm just talking. I don't be looking at it like y'all. Yeah. Y'all want an yeah. interview. I'm just a nigga. Yeah, just, all I'm just you know? That's yeah. what I am. That's how it is. <laughs> but what, what, is your, what is your thought process where it comes to you know coming up with the lyrics in your head? Your creative oh, process. Man, the beat talk to me. Uh, if I don't see it, I can't rap about it. You got to visualize it. I got to see it. You know what I mean? So it's like a movie in my head. You know what I mean? It's the only way. It's crazy because I have a feature with some of the ABC raps. Mm -hmm. Them the hardest things in the world for me to rap. You know what I mean? It's as simple as this concept is. And he basically ABCing on that. That's the hardest shit ever for me to put wow. together in my head. But if it's something that's thought provoking, you know, I got to see it, though. I can't be passionate about nothing that I don't see. Right, mm -hmm. right. Well, I, I can tell you right now, man, um, I'm a big fan. I love you, bro. You got to come back on Boss Talk. If I come to Houston, I got to find you. I come to the hood. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm you, being real. You I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? We going to Because yeah, yeah. I, I got to do this again. <laughs> we got we to gotta run it back. I got something special I want to do. And at the end of the day, we gotta rock out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, right now, we you know, I tell you, like, we're doing right now, it's a press run. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting everything back active. You yeah, know, uh, yeah. Drop a couple of singles, you know, get a mixtape ready. First of the next year, we're gonna rock out. Just so tell me what we're gonna we're be doing. By six months, we're gonna be ready for you it. You send me something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it. Meaning, meaning, as far as I, my, I ain't gonna get these nigga my sauce. Y'all niggas just watch ball stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna play with that music. You ain't yeah. got to worry about that. We're gonna yeah. let them know we coming. Yeah, right right you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm mean, we for the end this thing, man. J Dog, man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. You didn't give me that, but I know, kind of know where you gonna go. Any with. genre? Yeah, top three. In any order. Any, any order. order. Tupac, DMX. Oh man, that third one, the toss up. It's always that. Oh, the third one, the toss up, man. Cause, oh my God. I want to say Lauren Hill. Ooh, that's a hard one now. 
then, but you know, Bob Marley is my number one of all time. Oh, mm-hmm. that, you know, she's Jamaica. She ain't yeah, trying. Yeah, so it's like, man, out. And then CeeLo Green, just amazing to me. You like CeeLo? CeeLo yeah, Green, go hard. He's amazing. Different. He's supposed to be in Dallas sometime soon. Really? I saw him on a flyer. Man, it just, it, it's... It's it, hard to say that third one. That third one always a beast, man. It, it, it got, it, Who would it you put in the place? Bob Marley. Bob got Marley. To. Got to. He really my number one overall. I mean, period. Is it because of the way he was able to transcend uh, different elements of different places in the I world? I don't know. It's the way he touched my spirit. Like you know when you mean? listen I, to I him, feel him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a connection with Bob. That's good. and then look, I was born hours after he died. Really? Wow. Five eleven eighty one. Wow. Yeah, that's look crazy. It, look it up, like. You I born. Was, I, yeah, I was born hours after he died. That's crazy. Man. Yeah. So, man, hey, man, thank you so much for coming on the show. We love you, J-Dow. And I know we're going to get to rock out again because I got something I want to lock in with y'all. Yeah, I, I can't wait to rock this beat, man. You know, <laughs> we're going to have to yeah, <laughs> you, make this real soon. Yeah, just let me know whenever you're ready. I have it for you. I want that beat, man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I'm going to send it to you. Send it to you, you. I got your number. Let me see if I got it. All right, let me, let me shut this down. Hey, Hey man, thank you guys for watching, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.